horn down in the center of town. And tonight I'm laughing about the army recruiting station. Lying vacant, here's to the rubble. A brick through every window, a casket buried six feet deep for everybody's heroes. Here's to our lives being meaningless and how beautiful it is because freedom doesn't have a purpose. Once for every arsonist that got locked down before they burnt the cities down. A misty in the skyscrapers on fire. This once for every friend that got taken off the street so the upper class could sleep, so the upper class could sleep. I'll miss the spray paint and slash tires Because tonight I can't smell the pigs around the corner On the shortness of your breath And tonight I can't taste the whiskey from across the room In the stumbling of your steps Here's to the rubble And a break through every window A casket buried six feet deep for everybody's heroes Here's to our lives being meaningless And how beautiful it is Because freedom doesn't have a purpose Tonight I bury old William without remorse Because hell sleeps around and heaven wants a divorce Tonight I burn my bookshelf to be free Because even a rebel tradition is slavery Tonight I bake my madness a birthday cake Because even the insomniacs aren't awake Tonight I burn my home while they go in place So tomorrow I can live like I died yesterday Live like I died yesterday Today a stampede killed Superman And Apollo and Dionysus both got hanged Today the revolution laughed and spit in my face But all expenses paid, Donna will take its place Today the dropouts were smarter than the PhDs As they took off with everyone's car without the keys Today I pled failure all the way up to the sky And I grin hopelessly as I sit down to die As I sit down to die System to overthrow, no one to worry about, and nowhere to go. I traded in my hope for a hangover and a headache. I'm contemplating rope, but can't I not that great? But who needs love? Not 
me. Who needs friends? I got me. Who needs drugs? Me. Who needs sex? I got me. I got my 20 ounce in front row seats of the parking lot. I'm on the corner now, watching them make out a lot And I trade in all my pain for all your priceless pillow talk But I'm not too old enough, and I think I care too much But who needs love? Not me! Who needs friends? I got me! Who needs beer? Me! Who needs sex? I got me! something one sec that's the stream title <clears throat> it's in reference to fucking the other one of course um but this one got posted today as well and a a, a few people actually on the uh on the anarchism subreddits uh immediately look at the cursive <laughs> fucking not real anarchist this is a setup Apparently, people are aware of this bullshit discourse. Oh. Uh, fucking. Apparently, real anarchists can't use cursive. So, that's that's fucking. Which, which fucking mental defect moron was saying that shit? Do we know? Was that Hassan? Was that Dylan Burns? Which fucking retard was saying that crap? It fucking, it had to be fake because it was cursive. Does anybody know? Who's here? Hey, Bobby. Oh, IRI. Who the fuck is IRI? The fuck is an IRI? <laughs> They're not lying. I click things to communicate. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, that's That's the fucking... He's a total... Oh, oh, I'm really important. Okay. I've never actually seen that abbreviated as IRI. <coughs> All right. <coughs> uh, that's hilarious. Yeah. That's... Uh, yeah, apparently... Apparently, anarchists can't have neat handwriting. Especially, like... It was a chick, dude. It was a chick. Dude, it was a chick. I'm sorry. Like, that was the first fucking thing I thought when I saw that f fucking graffiti was... It's graffiti on an anti-abortion facility after a firebombing. <laughs> and it's fucking neat little cursive and everything. It's like, yeah, a woman tagged that. Like, that's... Yeah. Like, who do you think is doing this? Right? Like, <laughs> fuck his first go to. I'm like, dude, that's chick handwriting. It's fucking old school, nearly misogynistic thought process. But I'm like, yeah, that's. It's a girl's handwriting. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, and then, yeah, apparently, like, yeah, you anarchists, it can't be anarchists. It's a fucking, like, it's a false flag because anarchists don't know cursive, apparently, or something. I don't know. Uh,. Yeah, yeah, d yeah, dig. It was fucking some fuck of some fucking moron, and so yeah, when that uh, when it um, when the oh fuck me when this got posted on uh, the anarchism subreddit, like literally, there's like a chain of fucking comments. Look at that cursive. Not real anarchist. This is a setup. Ah, uh, you beat me to it. Also, that's not a real anarchy symbol. Uh, and then something something Robert Evans is a fed. <laughs> uh. So, yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. No, apparently that's that's there's some idiot on fucking Twitch. Like, I don't know, right now probably. Fucking literally just spouting off about how re real anarchists don't use cursive and shit like that. So, yeah. F figured I'd lean into it. Uh, um, hey, AJ. Um, has it has is at it again? If you wanna, if you wanna get has in trouble, um, he's um, like I can point you to a shit ton of evidence of him being like mis uh like transphobic and fucking hateful off platform. So, like, yeah. He's 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 getting super fucking transphobic over there uh, on Twitter. Um, there's no amount of numbers or likes on Twitter that'll make anyone in the real world consider you cl being close to a conventionally attractive uh, new tweet. The only validation you ever get in life will be artificial and ideologically contrived. No one will ever authentically perceive you in the way that you want them to. Um, fucking no one will tell you the truth because you can't handle it. Try comparing yourself to never mind, and then the zipper mouth one. Um, fucking yeah, he's um, and then all of his fans, of course. Yes, has has wants to bang a trans person. That's that's has dude has 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 yeah hundred percent. Of course, of course he's insecure. He's like three feet tall. He's like classic Napoleonic syndrome. Which Napoleon wasn't even that short. He was kind of tall for the time. Oh, good on you, Zippy. Um, so El Salvador is expected to uh, default on their national debt. Bobby, Bobby, a hundred percent. You could step on Ze uh, on Has a hundred percent, dude. You're like twice his size. Like sincerely, you would you you would have to do this, Bobby, to look at Has. Like you're gonna have to like get a like. Get a good massage. Get your neck loosened up. You know, do some, do some shit here because you're gonna, dude. You're gonna be like this to, to look at halves. Yeah, you might, you might like pull something in your neck, dude. He's a munchkin. Um, yeah, you'd be talking to his bald spot. <laughs> oh. Fucking! How many holes does Has think has? I uh, think a trans person has. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> he doesn't think they're people. Ha! Trick answer. Trick question. Trick question. Has doesn't think trans people are people. Um, I, I, I have, I have proof of this. I have proof of this. Hold on, hold on. Ha! They live in an economy. For those of you that are um, <clears throat> either not looking at the screen and or can't quite read this, um, he considers aggressive leftoids, wink, wink, um... The question we should start asking is, at what point is it a different species? This is not ironic. Is this human anymore? Is this one of us? They sort of look like us, but they are not. Yeah. Trick question, bitch. Has doesn't consider trans people people. Ha. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Has doesn't know what a species is. Has doesn't know a lot of stuff. Uh, I think it. I think they are actually me. Yeah, I think me too. They are. Um. So, yeah. Everyone knows your genotype depends on your hair dye. Uh, I know nothing about Has except he's a cringe industrial plant. <laughs> He's about the size of a plant too. Uh, Nick Fuentes likes has. Didn't Nick Fuentes like dis 
destroy his own community because one of his own people lost their virginity and he like went mental and like kicked in the dude's door with a fucking blacklight looking for like semen stains or something. Is this this is this, is this accurate? This is what I have heard. This is what I've seen online. Like went with a black light. Yeah, he did. He went with a black light. Holy, holy shit, man. How am I? What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, isn't he the isn't he the dude who likes the fucking cat boy? He went on a date with a fucking cat boy. What are you fucking? He told, yeah, oh, he totally wanted to bang that cat boy. Yeah, that cat boy was cute. Credit where credit's due. If you make yourself unvirgin, you fucking. <laughs> oh my god. What is wrong with these people? Do they just need a good blowjob or something? I don't know. Uh, um, I don't know if, no, Nick Fuentes is the groiper dude. I don't know if he's, it's guilty flowering. I don't know if he's Proud Boys. Is, is Nick Fuentes Proud Boys? I don't, I don't think, I don't think of Nick Fuentes as Proud Boys. But, um, I mean, I just know him as the dude who went on the date with the cat boy. That's the, the only, that's the only reference for Nick Fuentes I have. I don't know if he's a Proud Boy or not. He's definitely proud of boys, but different group. Uh, he's not a proud boy. No, okay. Not sure if they'd let him in. <laughs> uh, you say that like you're going to offer uh, yourself up to blow Fuentes for the cause. No, um, I'm going to offer a Kaiser up, though. Let Kaiser do the job. He's closer to uh, Fuentes' type. We'll, we'll put Kaiser in a cute little skirt. Well, maybe a maid outfit or something. Give him a little duster. Fuentes will be down for that. Maybe fucking Kaiser can just, you know, handle business for us all. <clears throat> He's a Nazi, at least. Uh, is Fuentes even decent looking? I don't fucking know. I, I don't, dude, I don't know what Nick Fuentes looks like. No. I mean, he's average. He's fucking average. I mean, you know what? There's some decent photos of him. Is it, you know, I mean, there's. These days he's closer to this though, apparently. When you refer to blowjobs as handling business, I imagine a tired hooker gro uh, groaning as they get on their knees with one hand on their lower back. I mean, oh, Jesus Christ. Boom. I don't need to watch Nick Fuentes pick his nose and eat it. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I don't need to, I don't need to see Nick Fuentes pick his nose and eat it. Yeah, I'm good. Um... He's got the same color eyes as me, actually. His eyes are very similar to mine, as far as like color and composition go. I've got the zoomed way in. Yeah, dude, very similar eye color and composition. Well, I'm gonna need him to start wearing contacts. <sighs> awesome. You also, yeah. Thank you, um, Hazel. There we go. Um, with specks of orange and yellowish sort of stuff, and they can sort of tint blue in the correct lighting. Yes, there can be only one. Um, so anyway, El Salvador is going to default on their national debt, everyone. Um, 
Does anybody know why El Salvador is going to default on their national debt? Does anybody, does anybody remember the news from last month? They did the Bitcoin bullshit. Yes, Marcus remembers. They in they made Bitcoin legal currency in their country, and it plummeted fifty percent from where uh, where it was. Um, yeah, they became the first country in the world to accept Bitcoin uh, as legal tender, and as a result, the government purchased twenty five million dollars worth of Bitcoin. Um, and they, um, yeah. <laughs> They're not doing well. Uh, Moody's warned in, uh, warned this month, uh, even if the government finds a way to manage near-term financing pressures from the bond maturity, uh, Moody's view is that the sovereign will continue to face funding pressures that would compromise its ability to service its debt commitments in full. In Fitch's uh, uh, view... Um, it weakening of institutions and concentration of power in the presidency of increased policy unpredictability and the adoption of Bitcoin as legal tender added uncertainty about the potential for an IMF program that would unlock financing. So basically they're, they're broke. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Um, hold on. Let me fucking fix that. Um, where are you, Alex? Um... It's a uh, leftover from Dylan Burns. Sorry about that. <clears throat> there you go. You should be good now, Alex. Oh, is this where they want to build another crypto city? Um, no, I think that's somewhere else. I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's El Salvador, but I could be wrong. I could easily be wrong. Um, oops, wrong thing entirely. Um, crypto is the future. Oh, I saw a meme for you, uh, Caboose. I might have saved it. I saw a meme for you. I did. I did save it. Here you go, Caboose. I thought. I just. I thought. I thought of you, man. I thought of you, man. Just for you, Caboose. And even if you're afflicted with both of these things, fuck off. It's not for you. It's for Caboose. Um, so a gold diorama on Twitter about crypto cities and countries that are already pretty fucking poor. <laughs> oh, you guys straight up doxing me. <laughs> no one else can enjoy that meme. It's for caboose only. If you, ch if you chuckled at it at all, I want your chuckle. I want that chuckle back. Um, anyway. Yeah. Thought of you caboose. <laughs> Oh, oh, Kai, uh, Kai, you sweet summer child. Um, uh, f oh, okay, they did, they did. Uh, uh, oh my God, Jesus Christ! Oh, <laughs> oh, the reason I didn't know is because it was like yesterday. <laughs> hey, hey, Alex, hey, Raiders. Yeah, okay, so this was yesterday. That's why I didn't, I didn't even know I was stoned all of yesterday. Um, so apparently Al Salvador did unveil a fucking golden Bitcoin city diorama on Twitter. Right? His fucking crypto was just falling apart. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, President Nayib Bukele unveiled the glittering mock-up complete with a Bitcoin at the city center as Bitcoin lost half its value. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the fact that, yeah. Um. Oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe 
maybe it's all their fault. The creators just get too much. Oh, and um, um, uh, to to Alex's people, if you want to go, if you want to go fuck with Has, he's on a um transphobic uh, rant basically on Twitter. He's been like apparently getting into it with some like trans chick. Um, and he's like on a tear a bit. So if you want to, you want to poke at him. Um, yeah, now might be the time to like push him over the edge if you want. <laughs> we never encouraged brigading or raiding though. Uh, but yeah, he's, he's on a bit of a, a transphobic tear. Uh, he's, I have Sophie from Mars. I don't know who this person is, but yeah, they, they're, they're getting into it. Um, he also, um, when did he post this? Like six hours. This went up 11 hours. So about 17 hours ago, he basically is, he's now, uh, dehumanizing, um, leftoids entirely. He used mug shots from like leftist protesters. And he's literally asking at what point is this a different species? This is this human anymore. Is this one of us? This isn't ironic. They sort of look like us, but they're not like he's, he's literally othering leftist protesters now as well. So, you know. Again, none of you should ever be surprised that I don't know some online personality. Like, if you're if you're here from Kez, then congratulations. Apparently, like, I don't pay a lick of attention to online personalities. The only reason I know any of these people exist is because I have a community of people that bring their content to my attention on some basis. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> no, I don't know who Sophie from Mars is. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I, I know Thought Slime exists. I'm not entirely sure I've ever watched a Thought Slime video, but I know Thought Slime exists at least. Um, so, yeah. If it weren't for doing this, I wouldn't know who Destiny is. I wouldn't know who Vosh is. I wouldn't know who fucking uh, Fetty McGee is. I wouldn't know who fucking Haz is. I wouldn't know who Thought Slime is. I wouldn't know who the fuck Sophie from Mars is. I wouldn't know fucking... I wouldn't know any of these people. I pay no attention to these people. Uh, yeah, so... Sorry. Whether they're cool or an asshole or a shit lib or a fucking Nazi incarnate doesn't make a lick of a difference. I wouldn't know who they are. Just comes with the territory. I pay no attention to this sort of stuff. Um, so El Salvador is going bankrupt because they fucking put it all on crypto. Genius. Um. Oh yeah, of course he deleted a load of tweets. Um, he, dude, he basically he was gonna end up fucking banned again. Dude, and fucking, I got what was that? Um, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. I got thirteen transphobic tweets here. Um, and then the like, they're not human tweet uh, as well. So yeah, I'm not surprised it has went and cleaned cleaned up his timeline. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, because I know Twitch at least is he still banned on Twitch? Twitch has the other platforms clause now, so like you can report a fucking streamer on Twitch for shit they do on Twitter or on YouTube or on Reddit or on Tumblr or on fucking whatever else. Um. Yeah, 100%. That shit would have gotten him banned from fucking Twitch again. The bullshit clause, as far as I'm concerned, but it exists. So if you want to leverage it, you know, it's all Alinsky rules. Use it. Um, oh, yeah. Hang on. Well, all right. What about OnlyFans? Yeah, I think OnlyFans too. I, it's, it's, it's every other platform. 
It's like a moral turpitude clause, uh, turpitude clause almost. It's fucking bullshit. Oh, it's a perma ban. Or it's it, we don't have perma bans. We just have indefinite bans, which is even worse. It's very. Oh. Buffering. There we go. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, we have indefinite bans, um, which is even worse. It's almost Kafka-esque. Sorry to use Kafka-esque. But, I mean, you know, it's very, it's very weird. Uh, if I were him, I'd just leave the internet and go back to law school. Did he flunked out of law school. No, no, the sexy rule, it does, uh, the sexy rule, it's, it isn't, doesn't carry. It's a fucking, hang on, let me find this stupid. Hmm. <sighs> off service conduct. It's off service conduct. Twitch is committed to facilitating vibrant and dynamic communities, which can only happen if our users feel secure and protected. Um, in order to achieve this goal, Twitch enforces against severe offenses committed by members of the Twitch community that occur outside our services, such as hate group membership, terrorist recruitment, sexual assault, and child grooming. We will investigate reports that include verifiable evidence of behaviors that are inappropriate, and if we are able to confirm issue enforcements against the relevant users, we will also consider allegations of similarly severe conduct of those wishing to join the Twitch community, and if substantiated, we will terminate the account. We will do our best to ensure that our enforcement decisions are accurate, which in some cases will necessitate us br bringing in a third-party investigator for a thorough and impar impartial review. If we are able to verify reports of off-service statements or behaviors that relate to an incident that took place on Twitch, we will use this evidence to support and inform our enforcement decisions. Click here to learn more about our off-service conduct policy. And if you'd like more about their off-service conduct policy, the link is in chat. Um... Harmful misinformation actor or persistent misinformation super spreader qualifies you as that as well. Um, so. Oh, congratulations, Alex. Congratulations. Um, no worries, public. Okay, that music can't. <laughs> Wait, is this not? Fuck you. Why is this not? Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. Ah, <sighs> give me a sec. This is a fucking pain in my ass. Why is this not? Just play the stupid thing, Firefox. Okay, you need to stop playing music. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. I've done that top that top screen plenty of times. Just fucking spinning your character waiting. Yep, been there plenty of fucking times. Yeah, yes, congratulations, Alex. I, I you know. Um yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Thanks, Caboose. 
Um, all games are making their own complex background lore now. And I mean, it kind of... I mean, either you do it or the community's going to do it. One way or the other, somebody's going to do it. Um, so venture capital um, and buyout firms are moving into a new area of business, a new area of speculation in the U.S., seeing as um, due to the climate's... Well, being on fire, being on fire, um, and the it just let's just do capitalism and just let's just do everything right. Due to everything, um, there's an uptick in Americans seeking turn like seeking therapy. So investors are um, pouring quote billions of dollars into mental health clinics and therapy startups. <sighs> we're just, we're just fucked. We're just fucked. Uh, later, Alex. Thanks for the raid. Sleep well. Enjoy your food. Good job. Keep up the good work. Get in on the ground level. Therapy is the new Bitcoin. All right. Uh, speaking of the new Bitcoin. <laughs> speaking of the new Bitcoin. Um, fucking. You saw the um, Black Lives Matters co-founder. The Black Lives Global Network Foundation co-founder. Mm. Oh, love a good grift. Love a good grift. I've been saying it for fuck. I've been saying it since what? 2020, 2021. I've been saying it for over a year. I've been saying it for over a year. Dude, there's a grift. There's a grift. Dude. Uh, what's this? What's this bitch's name? Patrice Colors. Um, Yeah. Misappropriating funds like a motherfucker up in there. <laughs> oh, you know, multiple parties at the Malibu mansion that was purchased. <laughs> oh, fuck it, eh? Yeah, six million dollar Malibu mansion purchased and then hosting personal events and fucking all sorts of things. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, fuck you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, without the Russians, but yeah, pretty much. Oh yeah, public. It, it's it's all It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. It's all just a grift. They're they're actually pyramid schemes. Like they're literally pyramid schemes. <laughs> That's, uh, okay. So we talked about that last night. Um y'all saw y'all saw um Elon Musk, right? He praised Chinese workers. Quote, they won't just be burning the midnight oil. They'll be burning the 3 a.m. oil. They won't even leave the factory type of thing. Whereas in America, people are trying to avoid to work at all. I'm sorry. What rich daddy's boy? Somebody take fucking... Um, Elon back to like one of those Cambodian sand pits where they mine sand in Cambodia and shit like that, right? Or uh, Cameroon, sorry, not Cambodia, Cameroon. Let's drop Elon Musk in a Cameroonian sand mine like fucking Nganu grew up in and see how, how much work Elon is willing to do. Because I'm betting Elon Musk doesn't even pick up a fucking shovel.
capital class is really into hard work. We should let them. Um, yeah, this motherfucker talking about you, you fucking because you know somebody somebody fucking was praising him recently. One of these business insiders or Forbes or somebody I forget who I forget which of these fucking bootlicking neo cap uh, neoliberal capitalist dickhead fucking rags. Um, was praising um, Musk about how his fucking work ethic. He co- he called his staff in at one a.m. on a Sunday morning, and they're like, "See the work ethic of Elon Musk, bitch. <sighs> Go fuck yourself, psychopath." And yes, as I always point out, we have somebody adjacent in community who worked with Elon Musk directly in an individual capacity for years and has many firsthand accounts of what it is like to work for and with Elon Musk. And if you even mention his name on his channel, you will catch an insta ban. He despises the man. Fucking, he's all twitchy and traumatized from working with Elon Musk. (sighs) Um, let's see. Um, Leader of Pussy Riot got out of Russia. Good honor. As posing as like, uh, what did she do? She um, posed as like a food courier or something, like a food delivery person, and she like snuck out of Russia. Good honor. <clears throat> she um, she was openly criticizing Putin again, so she probably would have ended up dead this time. But yeah, yeah, a bunch of her friends helped her sneak out of Russia, so she's she's free now. <laughs> Um, I forget where she is. Um, <clears throat> Lithuania. Lithuania. She escaped to Lithuania. Um, remember reading a biography of Washington from a serious historian that praised him as a fair slave master because he never asked the slaves to work longer or harder than he did. I stopped reading there and then and needed a nap. Yep. Uh, God, these people are psychopaths. So that was the Musk thing, uh, the Pussy Riot thing. Um, DeSantis got his fucking stupid redistricting map blocked as gerrymandering. Um, yes. Okay. So normally I would save this and I will use this on the next Popo's Bizarre Adventures. We will revisit this. But for those that were present for the last Popo's Bizarre Adventures, the San Jose Police Department, right? I talked about how the week prior, how they had had a cop steal a bag of drugs and overdo- have it a fentanyl overdose. And then the next week during a kidnapping investigation of a three-month-old child, they had one dude show up hammered and another dude peel off to a fucking side room and start jerking it. Well, guess what? San Jose is in the San Jose Police Department is in the news again today. Um, yesterday, technically, um, s- fucking, they arrested one of their own police officers to a uh, two ve- two vehicle crash on the high, uh, in the highway. Yeah. The cop was hammered. So that's two cops within a week showing up to the job, completely shit faced. A cop the week prior kills himself by fucking stealing drugs and do and getting a fentanyl overdose. And then they've got the fucking jerky McGee, which apparently he needed to just clear his head and rub like and rub one out while a fucking three month old was kidnapped. So yeah, they, dude, they're they're on a roll. San Jose Police Department is like straight up on a roll. Um, yeah, <laughs> southbound Interstate 880. I, I, dude, keep your eye on San Jose's police department. Hey, uh, weaponized. Thanks for the follow. Keep your eye on uh, San Jose police department. They're, uh, they're, they're, they're making moves. <laughs> uh, turns out all my day drinking and masturbating was job training. I'm sure my parents will be pleased. 
Oh, I mean, you are an attorney. Uh, so let's see. We'll save that one, that cop story. Um, what the fuck is happening in San Jose? Like, I know police are in no means professional, but damn. Hey, Puka. Um, no idea, but San Jose Police Department is a goddamn dumpster fire. <laughs> It's a fucking dumpster fire. Oh, it's amazing. Dude, they are, dude, they've got addiction. Like, they've got some substance abuse problems in San Jose Police Department. Like, they had, dude, fucking dude stealing fucking baggies of white powder and ended up ODing on fentanyl and dude showing up drunk and fucking DUIing and fucking, yeah. San Jose Police Department's got a bit of a substance abuse problem. Uh, I, I, you know. They drug you. They drug test you for like a fucking Seven Eleven job and shit like that, right? Why are the Why are the cops not being drug tested on a regular basis? Why Why the fuck? You know what? Cop cars should. You know what? I'm completely against the breathalyzers in in like consumer vehicles. I'm sorry. It's just a step too far. I'm sorry. I'm, if you were affected by a drunk driver in your life, I get it. It's traumatizing and it's fucked up and the whole thing's fucked up. But I'm I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. But breathalyzers to start cop cars, 100% on board. Why don't all police cruisers just have an, a breathalyzer installed in them automatically? There shouldn't be a single cop that comes to duty. It comes on duty, fucking drunk, right? That shouldn't ever happen. Yeah, it's a state's property. Exactly. Like all all government vehicles, yeah, should just have a breathalyzer in them so they can't start them. Like, dude, how many fucking cops wouldn't be able to do their job on a daily basis? What do you bet? What's the percentage? How, what's the percentage? Anybody want to put a number out? How, what percentage of cops on a, on a country scale do you think are showing up drunk? Or at least a little tipsy? Inebriated to some extent. Yeah, anybody want to throw a number? Zippy's going 60. God damn. Marcus is going 15 to 20. And Marcus is a goddamn attorney. Uh, higher than the wife beaters. Mississippi fires going with 40 <laughs> okay just hedge your bets 40 percent across the board 40 percent uh aj's going 77 crimson's going 80 peaky's going 10 um that would require them admitting they have a problem exactly shrimps <clears throat> i still miss your old name shrimps but Kai, what if they're chasing someone who said they're going to blow up a school and the process slows them down so they don't have a chance to save them? Why don't you think about these very real scenarios in which cops have never stopped a mass shooting at a school whatsoever? Never? Yeah. School resource officers, sc cops stationed at schools have never stopped a shooting, let alone some other fucking cop down the street. Uh I'm going to say just too many. This is Puka. Uh, they should also have to pass the oral roadside drug test to start work each day. Dude, those tricks fucking dude, they're going to fail those. Those drug tests are shot. Uh, <clears throat> they'll just have a sober guy ready to blow in the breathalyzer. <laughs> um, I said blow it up, not shoot. Jeez, Kai, listen. Uh, me too. Me too, says Shrimps. Dude, I, dude Shrimps, I, I bet you could get it back now. I bet if you, I bet you could, it's, it's been a while. It's been a while. I bet, I bet they fucking don't give a shit anymore. They're more worried about fucking, uh, white wheat based, uh, baked pro baked goods these days. Um, <laughs> uh, oh yeah, for sure. AJ, for sure. Uh, Supreme Court voted they don't have an obligation to stop school shootings. I mean, they don't have an obligation to do anything. Cops have no obligation to protect or serve or do anything that we expect them to, like, provide to our community. Their only um, ro required role is um, respond and document. They do not protect and serve. They respond and document. That's that's their only required role in, in our communities. So, like, you know, um, it's been a while since I played it. Where is it? Fuck the police. There you go. <clears throat> uh, uh yes florida beast that was the um i forget which which shooter that was that was the fucking um i forget which one that was i remember like david hogg and that crew came out of that shooting um but yeah the school re or school resource officer ran he fucking booked it i mean 
you know, I get it. I get it. But, like, you signed up for a job, bro. You signed up. You know what you were getting into. Homie, sit your ass fucking down and do your fucking job. But, yeah, that, that dude bitched out. Straight up ran. Uh... Stone Miss Stoneman Douglas. Uh, look. Look. I was in high school when Columbine happened. Do you know how many fucking school shootings there have been? <laughs> you know how many fucking school shootings there have been since then? I can't keep these fuckers. I can't keep I can't keep track of this. Fucking <laughs> fucking Europeans, poor Europeans, like looking in on America. They're like, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm like, I can't. Yeah, I can't I can't keep track of this shit. Marcus, to be fair, I had to Google it. Good. Good, good, good. Because I'm not the only one. Uh you were in middle school, so be Jesus. Um isn't there a new school shooting every couple of weeks in the U.S. now? What do you mean now? <laughs> I'm that one. Dude, the only reason they stopped was because of COVID. <laughs> that was the only reason they stopped was because of COVID. Um... Oh, you need to, like, you need to... Okay. Uh, kab caboose... <laughs> Can you take that idea that Caleb put in the commons and, like, make it work? Because it is a funny idea. Um, sorry, Caleb. <laughs> I was in the middle of high school when Columbine happened. So it's different. I think it was the same. Same. Um, I think I was a um, sophomore. I think I was a sophomore. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've been a sophomore. Um... I hate uh, I hate it how many school shootings and bomb threats I've been uh, a part of as a student or adjacent to as uh, part of my state. Yeah, happened right before I graduated. It's nonsense. Yeah, dude, it was it was it was. You know, we didn't take it seriously. We didn't take it seriously, dude. We did some fucking like active shooter. We did like an active shooter drill one time, um, and then we just went back to our business. Uh, we just went back to doing what we do. So, like, you know, we were we were fine. But, you know, it picked up right. Uh, the kids the kids after us. Like we were we were legitimately like kind of weirded out by the whole thing. Some of the kids after us apparently were like, that's a great idea. <laughs> this is crazy nonsense. You have the most in, just absurd like left hand turn stories then these two guys wore trench coats to school left and got hit by a train swear to god Puka was already out of college I think do private schools have mass shootings I don't know I don't keep track of the schools that do have shootings so I'm, I don't know um Probably one. One. Depends how you define. It depends how you define these things. Uh, that's what I'm seeing. Um, two, I'm seeing more. 
I'm being told one, but I'm seeing more. I'm seeing a bunch more. That one's in Mexico, so I suppose it doesn't count. Hmm. Not, not as many. Not as many. Not as many. There's a disparity. <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> Uh, entire life, my entire school life was post Columbine, and I grew up in Colorado, so it was always kind of there. Oof. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, <clears throat> so y'all saw the uh, y'all saw the journalist killed by uh, the Al Jazeera Palestinian journalist. Shot in the head by Israeli security forces while she was covering an Israeli la raid on a camp. Yeah. yeah is, is IDF straight up headshot at a journalist? Just straight up. No, I didn't see how her family is being humiliated by Israel right now. I don't fucking know, Caboose. You know what, Caboose? Don't even worry about it. <laughs> They're denying it. It's on fucking film. Like. Oh, nothing comes back to bite Israel. Come on. They apparently forced her family to take down all the Palestinian flags during uh, her mourning at their home. That sounds <clears throat> that sounds about Israeli. Yeah. Uh, Shireen Abu Ekla. <laughs> and Al Jazeera is confirming. Like, straight up. She was wearing a press vest, was standing with other journalists. <clears throat> Another journalist was also wounded. He's in stable condition. Um, the head of medicine, uh, for the department, uh, the head of the medical department at Al Najah University in Nablus confirmed, um, shot in the head. Um, her body was transferred for an autopsy based on an order from the public prosecution. Oh. <sighs> Um, other journalists at the scene confirmed there were no Palestinian fighters present when the journalists were shot, um, disputing the Israeli claim that there was a possibility of Palestinian fire. We were, fi we were filming the Israeli army operation and suddenly they shot us without asking us to leave or stop filming, said one of the journalists. The first bullet hit me and the second bullet hit Shireen. There was no Palestinian military resistance at all at the scene. A local journalist who was standing next to uh, next to her when she was shot told Al Jazeera that there have been no confrontations between Palestinian fighters and the Israeli army at that point. And she said the group of journalists had been directly targeted. We were four journalists. We were all wearing vests. We were all wearing helmets. The, uh, the occupation army did not stop firing even after she collapsed. I couldn't even extend my arm to pull her because of the shots being firing, firing, uh, being fired. The army was adamant on shooting to kill. So, there you go. Hey, Ramsey. Sleep well. Enjoy your, enjoy your rest, my man. Oh, uh, a Ramsey, if you're still here, I have I have something to say to you if you if you haven't left a Ramsey. Close fuel. Close fuel. Close fuel. Close fuel. It never went away, my man. It never went away. I still have that tab. Still have that tab. Close fuel. Close fuel. Oh, fuck it, eh? Oh, I love that soundboard. Do I have, where is the, uh... Clavio! 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 <laughs> if you speak it, you know what what's going on. 
Otherwise, don't worry about it. Uh, Put that back there. Um, so, yeah, the Israeli Defense Force shooting journalists again. I mean, nothing's going to happen to them. Nothing ever happens to the Israeli Defense Force. Oh, is there anything else we want to talk about? I don't think there was, frankly. We'll just fucking... We'll just call it. We'll just all go home. Uh, let me close this. Nope. Dude, actually, that'd be a kind of baller move. Anybody remember what happened to Rachel Corey? No. Oops. That is not what I meant to click. Um, yeah, the Israeli army conducted an investigation which concluded the death was an accident. Um, oh, they bulldozed her? Jesus Christ. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. That's kind of an insane story. <clears throat> oh, look. Manchin says he'll be voting against a bill to codify... Um, Roe v. Wade. Who would have guessed? I'm shocked. Yeah, hell, hell of an accident. Um, let's see what else. What else? Oh, first Russian soldier is going to be tried for the murder of a civilian. Oh, look, and he's a baby and balding, dude. What's um, what's with the hairline in that part of the world? Why why do I see like fucking 18 year old kids, fucking that have a hairline of a 50 year old man? What's going on over there? He's 21. This kid's 21? Jesus Christ. Some some genetics that need a mix-up. A little shake it up. This is stress, Chernobyl. That'll be the Lysenkoism. <laughs> um Yeah. Killed an unarmed resident of the village. The resident was riding a bicycle along the road. All right. Oh, yeah, the UK spy cop shit. <laughs> okay, that's weird. Ugh. Uh, let's see. Hey, for, uh, Trump's pick for Nebraska governor loses in the GOP primary. Apparently Caleb Maupin is really at it. Like, I've been seeing his name pop up a lot right, lately. He seems to be active right now. Hmm. Like a fungus culture. Uh, did you see Baked Alaska messed up his own plea deal? No, I didn't. I did not. Uh, let's see. Don't care, don't care. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Somebody has apparently got a leaked audio tape of Lindsey Graham calling Biden the best person to have post-January 6th, saying J Trump went too far. And that Biden is the best person to have. Fucking. <laughs> fucking Lindsey Graham. I swear to God. How how Lindsey Graham exists is just, a, just constantly. Caleb, there will be no invasion mopping. Uh, 
As someone who only knows how to write in cursive, I feel insulted, Jack. Ooh, don't let, uh, don't let, go, uh, Jack, don't go over to I'm really important. Apparently, anarchists can't write in cursive. Yeah, it's a sign of a false flag if you see graffiti in cursive. Fucking dummy. I mean, you have... He is... I mean... He's... Yeah. Putin's starting to have skin discoloration on his cheeks. He's starting to get, like, dark patches. Fascinating. And they're trying to use makeup to cover them up. Maybe I was the plant all along. <gasps> oh no, Graham's gay as the day is long. Do we know this? Dude, there's, there's been, there's been like, um, uh, rent boys that have come forward and talked about Lindsey Graham. Dude, a hundred percent. No, we know Lindsey Graham likes him fucking young and he likes him gay. Dude, dude, Lindsey Graham is super fucking, uh, super fucking fabulous. Oh yeah, he's he's a closeted gay from way back. Um, we even know um, a fucking dude. We know about. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. I'm about to teach some of you motherfuckers some shit that you do not need to know. Um, Lindsey Graham has a series of moles on his taint. Um, he calls them his ladybugs. He calls them my little ladybugs. We know this <coughs> because of one of the rent boys that Lindsay hired a ways back straight up said in an interview that when he went to go service Lindsay, he saw fucking uh, he saw this like trail of brown shit on his taint. And he was like, have you have you showered? Yeah, I've showered. He's like, uh, do you mind if I clean you up a bit? Yeah, fine. He fucking took a, a like a, a, a washcloth and tried to wipe off the fucking... Lindsay goes, oh, those? Those are just my little ladybugs. That's how we know about Lindsey Graham's ladybugs. It's because of a fucking rent boy that he hired that fucking did an interview and told the world about Lindsey Graham's little ladybugs. Yeah, he's got a series of moles on his taint. So if you ever want to verify the veracity of all of the various statements that have been said about Lindsey Graham over the years, just pants him and bend him over. That's all you need to do. If there's fucking, if there's a bunch of moles on his taint, congratulations. We know the fucking, the, all the stories are true. All the stories are true. Um... Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Kai. Put that in my head. Sorry, Puka. I apologize. I apologized up front. I apologized up front. I apologized up front. <laughs> Mike, I know you don't want... I know a whole bunch of that. Why did you ruin Ladybugs for me, Kai? Why? <laughs> I told you. I warned you. I fucking, you know. Uh, popular with Republican boys. Yep. Oh, I bet. Dude, in a previous, like, in a previous, like, in a different iteration of this universe, Madison Cawthorn and fucking um, Lindsey Graham could have had some fun. Dude, Madison a few years ago, because he's still young. Every time I see a ladybug now, I'm going to think Lindsey Graham. Yeah, dude, you can fucking, you fucking see Lindsey Graham and Madison Cawthorn going at it. Aren't you, aren't you a cute little thing without your legs? You just, ooh, do, 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 do. <laughs> Some shit like that. Oh, they still got it. They still can, Kai. They still can. Uh, no, I think Madison is too old for Lindsay now. Yeah. Uh, Lindsay likes him younger than Madison. Uh, at this point, Kai's just taunting us with horror. <laughs> Honestly, not the worst porn I've bumped into. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's, dude. 
fucking Lindsey Graham being as gay as the day is long is like the worst kept secret in the world. Everybody knows he's a fucking queer. We all know he's on team. He's just a self-hating fag. That's all. Like we're we're like the whole LGBT community is like, yeah, he's one of us. He's just one of those safe self-hating queers. That's all. He he made he made a fucking utilitarian calculus, right? He he did some utilitarian calculus. He's like, I can make this career work if I just never come out. So he never came out. He's of a generation and of a time and of a place that where, you know, the rules dictated that he couldn't come out. And by the time he had established his career, that ship had pa- that ship had sailed. So he does what the closeted Republican politician does. He hires rent boys. Just is what it is. I mean, I'd still fuck Cawthorn, but I've got some issues to work out with my psych. Um, it is sad, Jack. It is sad. Dude, Lindsey Graham is sad. It's sad, dude. It's, it's, I mean, there's, there's gotta be tons of regrets there. There's gotta be like, yeah, but it doesn't excuse him being an utter piece of garbage, right? Just because you're on team, just because you also are a homosexual, right? Just because you're, you're on my team doesn't mean like, you know, motherfucker, you're out there fucking, you're, you're out there putting goals in, in our, uh, in our net, right? You're scoring goals for the other team, bitch. Like, just because you're on our team doesn't mean you're playing for our team. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm not one of those people that automatically claps and woos just because you're fucking, you know. Oh, he's a man, therefore I should support him because he's a man. Oh, he's gay, therefore I should support him because he's gay. He's white, therefore I should support him because I'm white, right? Like, you don't get the woo just because fucking, you know. You get that shit all the time. Fucking do that at, like, a comedy show. And fucking one day there will be a, uh, a woman president and a bunch of chicks will go, woo. It's like, you don't know shit about her. You don't know shit about her. You're just wooing because I said there'd be a woman president. <laughs> like, calm down. She could be some fucking handmade tail bitch like the fucking um, whatever our most recent fucking Supreme Court justice is. Amy Coney, uh, Comey Barrett. Right. Like you, she could be some handmade tail bitch like up in there. Like, you don't know. Fucking don't woo just because, right? You know, yeah. Oh yeah, Lindsay's as queer as the day is long, but he's a total tra- like traitor to the cause. So fuck him. Yep, more fee, more trans drone pilots, more female drone pilots. This is the progressive way forward. <clears throat> oh my God, she didn't know the First Amendment interview. Of course she didn't. I can just imagine Ric Flair saying woo. <laughs> You're asking people to do too much research. Oh, God. I hate this world public. <laughs> it's not the world. I hate it. It's the people. It's the people. If it were just me and the fucking, like, you know, cats, I'd be fine. I'd be fine. If it were just, it was like me and fucking, you know, a babbling brook in the woods. That's good. I'm good. I know how to build a log cabin. I'm a Vermonter for fuck's sake. Like I can, I can build, like I can build a shelter. Give me enough time. I'm good. Uh, release the butthole cut. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, it's, it's the people that make this world suck. Speaking of Susan Collins, still complaining about chalk out front of her house. Oh God, what is this? Oh yeah, there's the, there's the tapes. Yeah, Lindsey Graham said Joe Biden is the best person to lead the U.S. Um. Also, um. Here, I have um. I have a a thing. Um. Romans thirteen <clears throat> verses one to two. This is this is, um. This is, this is, this is fun. This will fuck with people, right? <clears throat> Romans 13 verse one, to, one to two. Let everyone be subject to the governing authorities for there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Consequently, whoever rebels against the authority is rebelling against what God has instituted. And those who do so will bring judgment on themselves. 
if you fucking use this against conservatives. Oh God, I, I, I'm highly critical of the anarchistic Christians, but I am an ordained minister and I like to use it as a weapon, um, phobic doom. <clears throat> but no, I'm, I'm agnostic. Um, I'm an anti-theist agnostic. Um, so like, yeah, you fuck if fucking Joe Biden isn't a legitimate president. He has to be. God ordained him. It's God's will that he's in that position. So like, yeah, Ro Romans 13 versus uh, Romans chapter 13 verses one to two. Um, establishes any, any authority as an extension of God's will. And if you go against it, if you question it, then you're questioning God's plan. So have some fun with it. Ordained minister, anti-theist agnostic. Sounds good. Hey, you gotta you fucking you want to know the you want to know about the Bible? Talk to somebody who has actually read the Bible. That's not gonna be a Christian. Fucking not not in this country, dude. Christians don't know their Bible for shit. Uh, song. I'm an ex non-denominational Christian. Just saying. Uh, yeah, we're we're almost we're we're in the 30s. Um, there's like 30 in the greater community. Yeah. You know that shit the Romans threw in there. It doesn't matter. It's in the Bible, Crimson. Are you questioning the word of God? The sacred word of God? Yeah. We need to get to 69. Um... Why aren't more people ordained? What are you doing, you slackers? Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that, that was that was my little Bible verse for you today. Fucking Romans 13 verses uh, 1 to 2. How to how to undermine the, like, let's go Brandon shit. Like, have a little fun with it. No, anti... Wait, are you talking to me? Oh, that fucking agnostic atheist. Yeah. God damn it, Psycom. Go use the actual sub system, like the, the coffee stuff. <laughs> uh, thank you for the sub, though, Psycom. Um, it's the people that, it, it's a whole fucking conversation I don't like to get into because of the fucking people who, who um, um, divide that up that way. But basically, you can be uh, an agnostic atheist. It's fucking, I argue it's a it's stupid division. Uh, so. that That's not how you get to agnosticism, though, Glazy. It, are, do you, do you, do you care, Glazy? Do you think that humans can know anything about God? Like, do you, do you, do you give a shit? Or are you just like, yeah, I don't care. Okay, cool. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the team. Now you're just like, yeah, we can't know that. So why even bother thinking about it, right? Yeah. So, welcome to team. Yeah. It's the only app, app atheist. Yeah. Um, fucking, yeah. I mean, technically atheists don't exist. We're just apathetic agnostics. Um, Brian, thanks for the follow. Um, yeah, that's, that's, it's the only rational answer. It's the only rational answer. To, to that question. It's like, is there a God? How the fuck would I know? How the fuck would I know? How would any human have an answer to that question? Do, what's the nature of existence is what you're asking me. What is the true character of the universe? I don't fucking know. How would I know? And anybody who says they know are full of shit. Simple as that. So if I can't ever possibly know the answer to this question, why should I for a second of my life spend any time trying to figure it out? The stupid fucking idea. When God speaks to me, I'll make my decision. I'd, I'd hold off on that because if you start hearing voices, Glazy, <laughs> then you, you definitely hold off on that decision making at that point. Uh, turns out I actually did cancel my Twitch sub, but I did so uh, after doing a six month sub. So I still get the alerts, but the money has already been given to Twitch. Hmm, duly noted. It's weird how that works, but thank you. Yes, 
Yes, Wilhelm. We already talked about the reporter that got headshotted by the IDF. Um, and the other reporter, because everybody knows about the headshotted reporter. There's another reporter on the scene that got shot as well. And all of the local reporters on scene who are wearing press vests. Um, there was no Palestinian activity whatsoever. Um, yeah, we talked about it. Yeah. What if I see God? Again, hold off on that decision making then. When God speaks to me, I'll take some Thorazine. Exactly, Marcus. Um, oh, Jesus, Crimson. Yeah, being raised as a Jehovah's Witness is fucking... Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I've seen this before. I know this. Rob surprise on with the Yeah, yeah, first Corinthians. Yep. As I found out this morning, I spoke to him at his home. Yeah, he might as well have gone with Second Timothy. First Corinthians is good. I, I prefer Second Timothy two twelve. Along with a verse from First Corinthians, Hicks painted on three crosses, the fish symbol, and read your Bible. The reason I put this particular yeah. message on, I want people to read the Bible. <laughs> I want them to see this message and say, is that true? <laughs> it is true. It is true. Um, yes. Uh, let your women keep silence in the churches. This is a rest uh, <laughs> fucking, for it is not permitted unto them to speak. Yes. Um, but as I said, I prefer, uh, I prefer second Timothy ch uh, chapter two, verse 12, I think. Um, it might not be 212, but there we go. Yeah, 212. <clears throat> I do not I do not permit a woman to teach or to exercise authority over a man. Rather, she is to remain quiet. Yeah, I've used that one. I've used that one. <laughs> Fuck you. <yeah. laughs> Oh, sometimes I go pick up a pack of Corinthians at the gas station. <laughs> yep. I heard voices, but I never heard God. go there we go all right pop that up there there we go <clears throat> uh Utah governor seems kind of based. He's speaking out against additional uh, abortion restrictions, even if Roe v. Wade is struck down. So, like, dude, he was against the trans stuff. He was against, uh, the anti-trans stuff. He was against the fucking, like, yeah. His, his state keeps passing insane shit. It's Utah, after all. But that governor is fucking, he seems like, for Utah, kind of based. Like, he, he's spoken out. He's like, even if it gets struck down by the Supreme Court, the state should focus on prevention and support, not punishment. Like, he's, he's like, for that region, yeah. Like, that guy's kind of progressive. Um, I mean, the, the legislature continues to push shit through no matter what he, he says, though. Um, he, he was against the anti-trans, uh, trans stuff that Utah just passed and he refused to sign it. Um, but they passed it anyway. Didn't matter. So, yeah, he's sort of just like a figurehead at this point. He doesn't seem to actually be in control of much in that state. Oh, I mean... Some time is now. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. All future streams will be done like this. I think this is this is this is the new meta. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut the lights out entirely. Um, yeah, we're, we're this is this is all future streams now.
We're just gonna go like, um, like '90s Vato with the fucking beanie down to the eyes. Like we're just gonna, okay. Sup, SA? Um. So. There we go. You talking shit? Uh. You, oh well, you wouldn't be able to place my accent based on where I am. Phobic. I, I'm I'm one of the Americans that moved around a lot, so you wouldn't be able to use my accent to place me where I am. Um, if you'd like to know where I am at present, at present I live I reside in Las Vegas, Nevada. Where am I from originally? Vermont. Where have I spent a fair amount of time? The Deep South. So I can slip into a Southern accent just like that, no problem. It's it's second nature to me to slip into some good old boy talk, America, motherfucker. But originally I'm from Vermont, and as a result of uh, moving all over this country, uh, I've lived in the Northeast Quarter, I've lived in the South, I've lived in the Southwest, I've lived in the West, like, I've, much of my accent has been washed out, though I use versions of and inflections from in a variety of my orative methods. Um, so, yes. But at present I live in Las Vegas. Yep. Yep. That we do. Exclamation Discord. But I like a good Southern accent. I like a good Southern accent. <clears throat> if I were, if you were to move to a different country, which one would it be? Um, Dominique, Dominica. Depending on pronunciation, that's that would be uh, Mexico. Um, uh, no, it'd be Dominique. Uh, would be my first choice. Um, Australia as a second choice. Uh, third choice. Belize, maybe. Uh, it, was th it was contemplating Peru. Um, yeah. Guys like me, the haver of many American accents. Yes. Um... This would be my first choice, though. <clears throat> and you can see up here. See, this is this is Dominique, but also Dominica. This this place is just it's just fucking it's paradise. It's paradise. That's Champagne Bay. It's gorgeous. Second largest volcanic lake uh, in the world. Yeah, some of the old... Old. From when they tried to settle, but they couldn't. It's the only island in the Caribbean that successfully resisted the uh, colonialists. They have an amazing, like, uh, combination of um, cultures there. Uh, the the um, the native Taíno people that um, like interwedded with the escaped African slaves because Dominique is um, Dominica is near the coast of it's in some very shallow waters. It's near the coast of uh, South America. Um, and here, let me pull out for you. <laughs> um, all right, so here. You can see how close it actually is to South America, grand scheme, right? So a lot of the, like, uh, the trading vessels would go past, like, Suriname, um, and so, like, they'd come up the coast of Suriname and then sail past, like, Trinidad and Tobago and stuff like that. And there's some very shallow waters um, off the coast of uh, Dominica. And they uh, they would hop. If they, if they saw the opportunity, uh, if they got the opportunity, um, slaves would hop. And they would swim ashore to uh, Dominique. And the Taino people would greet them. And there's actually, like, there's, there's statues... Um,
all across the island. Um, oh, for fuck's sake, just open the stupid JPEG, you fucking moron. Um, fuck is wrong with Firefox today? Um, so there's like statues like this all across the island of African slaves freeing themselves of their chains of bondage. And so there's this rich history on the island of not putting up with shit because they were they were the successful fighters. They were the successful fighters. Um they um when when it uh when when it came down to it, yeah. Um the island is highly mountainous. It is it's covered in jungles, it's covered in like uh landscape that the colonialists took one look at basically and said we can't put sugar plantations there. And there's a, resi a deep resistance. They eventually got footholds as time went by, but they never colonized the, the island. Never truly. So they never clear cut the island. It is still today the most pristine, intact island in the Caribbean as far as natural ecosystems go. It was never destroyed by the, the, the colonialists. So it, it's just, it's, it's a gorgeous island. It's a gorgeous island with a gorgeous people. Bit of a homophobia problem. And if there's a bit of a homophobia problem, trans, sorry. Like, you know, they, if they got a problem with, with the, just the generic gays, then probably going to have a problem with you. Um, bit of a homophobia problem, but, you know, I, I don't mind going undercover. It doesn't bother me for travel. Um, but, yeah, um, Dominica would be my first choice. Australia would probably be my second choice. And mm, toss up, Belize is in the running for third. Uh, yes, Iran is in the uh, generic gaze. I will now use this. Um, Iran is uh, in the forced transition um, category, public, correct. Uh, who, well, who amongst us isn't homophobic during a Bacchanal? At least for the spice. Uh, generic gaze is the new basic bitch. <laughs> Oh, fucking a, um, person, 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 um, whoever I, somebody, uh, is somebody checking this? Okay. Thank you. Cupcake. Keep an eye on that. I might use generic day. It's too good. Generic. I, I love that. Generic gay is a new basic bitch. Generic gay. It's just, dude, I'm generic. Well, I'm not generic gay, I suppose. Um, frail vegan. Thank you for the follow. Um, I, in some ways, I'm very generic gay. In other ways, I'm very not generic gay. So, so it depends on how you want to apply a definitional set to your generic gay. Caboose and Karina, enjoy your D&D &D session. Uh, I hope it goes well. I hope there is no... Uh, secondary drama, and I hope that it um, is a fulfilling session for both of your characters, and you see much plotline development. Either way, enjoy yourselves. Bye, Caboodle. Um. <laughs> I have to resist not doing it. I have to resist it. Uh, Kai's old school gay. I don't know if I'm old school gay. Like, I, I just... I'm, I'm, dude, I'm a freak. I'm a freak. You guys know that. You guys know that. Um. Glazy, have you, do you live under a rock? Dungeons and Dragons. D&D, &D, man. Dungeon, fuck it. There we go. It clicked. It clicked. Like, what the fuck is going on, man? I do not know what D and D is at this point. That's insane. But you got there. You got there. That's I'm, I'm good. Besides, <laughs> it wor worries me, man. Hmm. 
Yeah, we'll have to make a judgment call on that one. <sighs> uh, impossible. Do you only work uh, D and uh, do you only work D and D, or do you uh, also like work other systems? Oh, I'm sorry, Puka. Oh. Uh, I enjoy Bards because it gives me the charisma I never had. Uh, anyway, mm, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, many other systems. I learned D&D on Rifts. Uh, have you ever learned Fate? AJ. Yeah, that's all I'm after. I'm just after I'm after somebody to, D, uh, to GM a game of Fate for me. Because I never get to sit on the other side of the table for a Fate game. Never. I, I you know, I would, I, I so desperately want someone to run a, a game of Fate for me. Full campaign. It's all available because it's all like they do. All the PDFs are available for free. Uh, the the fake core system is brilliant. I have all the books, of course, but like, yeah, the fake core system is brilliant. It is a system designed for actors and storytellers and writers and creative types. It's it's the least crunchy of a system you can get. You can make it crunchy if you're a fucking masochist, but it is designed for the rule of cool, basically. It's it's a system that's designed for storytellers and actors and that those types. Very RP heavy. Very RP heavy. Like in in um like in D&D, right? Your character is in a warehouse. Your your character is in a, an office space adjacent to a warehouse space and the villain has just knocked you to the floor and knocked your sword out of your hand and has fled to the other side of the building. Right in D and D to grab that sword and stand up and then move. Right, how many calculations and actions just occurred? Right, like it, it's it's absurd. In Fate, all you do is narrate. You tell me what's going on, and you say, like, you know, in one swift movement, I grab my sword, I spin around onto my knee, I somersault forward, and I start sprinting across the uh, the open warehouse floor. Congratulations, that's an action. That's just, that's just, that's just your action. That's just your action. Like, that's, okay. Like, it, it's, it's designed for the rule of cool. It's such a beautiful system, and I so prefer it to d and I love watching people play d and I hate playing d and Um, so... I'm sorry. All I heard was I get to be a lawful evil mage who can't cast a spell unless it's been approved in triple kit. Um, it's uh, it's called Fate, Zippy. Fate, uh, Fate Core, but it's called Fate. Um, it's called by it, it's designed by Evil Hat, um, and all of the resources are available online. Um, it is my chosen system. It's been my chosen system for years. It allows me to do stories that are great. It allows you to really tell stories properly without a whole lot of bullshit involved in it. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, if I can convince somebody to run a fake game for me, I've been trying for ages. Karina was going to do it, but Karina's got the ADHD like a motherfucker. But if I can get a fake game going, I 100% will get a fake game going. Um, fate, fate characters are competent characters. There's no like level zero, level one D and D characters who are like, yes, and you are from the epic family of Faranga, and you are the wielder of a, a legendary sword, and you do two damage. Right? Fate characters are already competent characters. That's that you're already a badass in the world of fate, unless you want you don't want to be. And then you can design your character otherwise. But yeah, and you can build your character, like you, your aspects of your character, you can do on the fly. You can, like a spell, like a spell in D&D &D that like you have to level up to get a spell or some shit like that. You can on the fly do that in Fate. Like you can learn new things on the fly in Fate. It's such a, 
it's such a better system. It's such a better system. For people who are not great with giant books of rules that tell you what you can and can't do, Fate is a gorgeous system. Um, 100%, AJ, 100%. I, I've been looking for I've been looking for somebody to run a, a fake game for me for a while. I ran one a couple of years ago that there's recordings of. You can. Jack, you can. Yeah. Um so yeah, for sure. All right, let's see. Oh. Sorry, what? Jefferson City, Iowa. And his city employee fired a gun over 20 times in the direction of three juvenile girls after one refused to perform a sex act on him. 28-year-old Michael Teeples encountered three juvenile females Monday at Henderson Park in Jefferson City, Iowa. He asked one of the girls to perform a sex act all they're listening in exchange for money when she refused he brandished a firearm and threatened to shoot out their tires if they left he then grabbed the victims in the vehicle they were driving he then fired the weapon in the victim's direction police say he shot more than 20 rounds towards the raccoon river <laughs> jesus fucking christ I swear to god uh, I believe in the Brendan Lee system. If you say it, I'll make it happen. In D&D, it's much more of a stretch, but it totally fits with fate. Yeah, no, fate's, fate's, uh, fate is a superior system to d and I'm sorry. Um, okay, well, that sounds good, but also if you like D&D, but better, let's legit, we need to get people to play Divinity Original Sin 2. Oh, my God. I, I Dude, Divinity is just too much work, Marcus. Um... Um, uh, AJ, read, um, read Fate Accelerated first and then go dump over to Core. Um, read Fate Accelerated first. <laughs> it, it, the, 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 the switch from, um, the, the approach versus the skills system is not a complicated switch to make in your head. So the, the Fate Accelerated will teach you, um, an approach system rather than a skills system, um, which is for first timers. Basically it's for very quick pickup games. Um, but all of the like essence are there. Uh, no fate, as in fate core uh, designed by Evil Hat. Um, so yeah, read read Fate Accelerated uh, F A E F A. It's, it's generally referred to as F A E Fate Accelerated Edition first, uh, AJ, and then go from there. Um, so it looks like we're not going to be hearing from whoever that person was, based on what I'm seeing behind the scenes. Um, we're looking at another solid week of rain and floods over here in Queensland. Jesus Christ, this threat. Um, send some of that rain my way. We could we could desperately use it. Oh, oh Jesus Christ, really? Is that today? That's today. That was published today. Oh. <laughs> oh. Deb Haland has been up, at, up to it. Um... It, for those of you who don't remember who Deb Haland is, she's uh, our the first Indigenous um, is Secretary of the Interior, um, and she announced last year an investigation into uh, the boarding schools that were run here in the U.S. And well, burial sites have been found at fifty three of the boarding schools. Yep. So far, they found burial sites at 53 of the boarding schools. <laughs> uh, I 
Oh wait, where did you post it somewhere? Um, uh, fuck, I just I found it just in my feed. Are we surprised? No, I mean we're not surprised. It's just I mean you know what? Actually, I kind of am surprised because it was out of four hundred and eight schools. That's actually a pretty good fucking. I gotta tell you, <laughs> that's that's fifty three divided by four hundred eight. That's you know that's thirteen percent. That actually, you know what? I am kind of surprised. They only found burial sites at 13% of the schools. Um, <laughs> that's, yeah. Yeah, I actually am kind of surprised at that. But the other direction. Um, so far, the investigation has found over 500 children who died while in school custody. Again, I'm shocked. The investigators say they expect to uncover many more deaths. Yeah, I, I, I 500 kids and 13% of the schools. Yeah, I actually am shocked. I would expect that those numbers to be way higher, but they expect them to grow. <laughs> uh, Jesus. All right, do we have, there we go. This is only the first volume. Yeah. yeah good. Good. Okay. Apparently that is what it is. Oh, whatever. Half of my fun on this channel is being an absolute buzzkill to people who watch. Um, uh, Marcus, take care of yourself. Oh, look, Senate blocks bill to codify right to abortion. Hey, who would have guessed? I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked, I say. Shocked. It was, yeah, 5149, but they needed 60 to do it. But make sure you vote for us in November. <laughs> yep. Oh no, they needed sixty votes. Do Collins and Murkowski alone? Do they would they would have had to have done is end the filibuster and use that nuclear option, which the Democrats never do because the Democrats don't have a pair of balls or ovaries between the lot of them. So, like that was never going to happen. Yeah, it was never going to happen. It was symbolic only. Not a fucking chance. Uh, they just want to ensure they have funding with scare tactics. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. It's, it's just more of a fucking fundraising for them. Uh, somebody posted, somebody had posted that they, um, they got 10 fundraising emails the first day that like the day after that the leak happened from Democrats. Yeah. They got like, 10 fucking fundraising emails. Um, dig the dono messages for abortion rights to the Dem Party is absurd, like insanely disgusting. Them grifters get a grift, though. Exactly. I mean, at this point, is there a difference, public, between the Democrats actively attacking us and then just let standing there letting somebody actively attack you? Probably, in my opinion, not much. At least, not much. Nonsense. Oh, there is. It maybe seems small, but there is. I don't know. Weird as shit. All right.
I see you over there, E Composer. I see you over there. I should still be fighting him, but it definitely takes someone who's standing by while I'm stabbed versus the person actually stabbed me. I, you know, I gotta tell you, public, I'm not sure I would. I, 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 Jesus. I might be going like MLK up in my old age, but right? Like I'm seeing less and less problem with the clan member and more with the, the moderate white liberal who lets all this shit happen. Like that fuck, dude, the fucking dude, they're fucking in the head. They're fucked in the head. But that apathetic asshole that knows better and just stands by and lets it happen. I don't know. My ethical framework is starting to dictate that in fact, they may be worse. Uh, Someone made a Wolfenstein 3D mod about invading the Kremlin and killing Poutine. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> uh, I've gotten into arguments about the bystander effect with that point, but my opinion, if your job, sorry, is to actively keep my rights safe, you're at fault when they're taken, so I don't know. I, you know, I will never see Pelosi's speech about the Republicans. Yeah, no, I'm good. Okay, I don't ever need to see anything Pelosi does. Oh, shit. Really? Liberty University has reached a settlement. Uh, they, uh, oh, Jesus Christ. All but two of the 20 women who had lawsuits against Liberty University for covering up rape and punishing the victims of rape using, quote, the Liberty way to silence accusers. Jesus Christ. There is non-disclosures in the, in the, uh, in the agreement. We, we may not know, ever know. Drugged, raped, fucking all sorts of shit. And yeah, they did. They punished the, the victims. The, anybody who came forward reporting being drugged and raped at U fucking Liberty University fucking would get expelled and or disciplinary measures brought up against them. Christians? Are you a Christian? You know, I'm just worried about seeing anything Pelosi does. She doesn't do anything. We have to change their minds. We need a strong conservative party. All right, fucking, can we get rid of Pelosi already? Jesus Christ, that bitch. She, that bitch has been ruining this country for how many decades now? Like a thousand? Fucking that vampiric old cunt. Jesus fucking Christ. These fucking boomers need to just die already. You've worn out your way. Your you've worn out your welcome. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! No, she's eighty-two. She has three hundred more years. Jesus fucking Christ! If the boomers could have died off before Gen Z came of age, millennials could have gotten something done finally. Gen Z is a bunch of fucking head up their ass, non-voting, non-participatory dumbasses who are way more conservative than anybody thinks they are. Uh, so, yeah, we could have actually made some progress for once if, our, if our, our generation had a shot at it. But how is this not a strong Republican Party? They're getting everything. Dude, AJ, dude, Nancy Pelosi is just a bane on our political system. Nancy Pelosi, Feinstein, and Chuck Schumer in combination with um, just Mitch McConnell, Lindsey Graham, and uh, fucking handful of the, uh, the other team. Like, there's just these fucking old fucks that just refuse to die. Or go the fuck away. The millennials are going to have a shorter lifespan than the fucking boomers because of the boomers? Yeah, oh yeah, for sure.
we'd at least have health care public. We'd at least have health care. We'd at least have health care and fucking Nancy Pelosi partied with JFK 50 years ago. Yeah, I know the the photo of her like in the um, the dress. She was a kid basically, but yeah, she was um, at the inaugural ball, I think, with JFK. Yeah, Nancy Pelosi was at JFK's inaugural ball. Yeah. Oh. Glazy, you won't be able to be able to afford that medicine. Um, Pelosi shot JFK confirmed. Um, medicine will make us live till 200. No. And even so, you won't be able to afford that medicine. So big deal. You've already been priced out of it. So. The fact that you think you would be included in that glazy is adorable. Fuck you. I miss being young and dumb. I miss being that young and dumb. It's dude. It's, it's, it's like, it's like immortality in a vial. It's amazing. It's amazing. That'd be hilarious if she was in charge of JFK security. Oh, this fucking Nancy killed JFK confirmed. I already, I already pay out the ass my uh, uh, out the ass for my drugs. I don't want to live to two hundred. Ah. Uh. Imagine wanting to live to 200. The ego that's attached to that. Oh. Florida judge on Wednesday struck down portion of the redistricting map drawn by Governor DeSantis and his staff. Quote, I am finding that the enacted map is unconstitutional under the Fair District Amendment because it diminishes African Americans' ability to elect the representatives of their choice. Who would have guessed? He was attempting to dismantle the North Florida seat that was held by a black man. Black man? Maybe woman. Hold on. Let me check. No, it's man, black man. Who would have guessed? Ron DeSantis was doing some racist shit. In Florida? Racism? Shocking. I'm, I'm shocked and appalled that that would happen. Uh... Ron to Hitler. Yeah, well. I love the um, the laissez-faire free market capitalists who are now all about using statist power to attack a corporation. I love, I love that shit. That shit, even the alligators are racist in Florida. I love that. That's my favorite aspect of this. It, all these fucking, like, right-wing, fiscal conservative, laissez-faire, free market capitalists who are all about using statist power now to attack a corporation. Yeah. 
Oh, that's, that's, dude, that's just delicious. Hey, fucking, as soon as a corp, as soon as a corporation used their free speech as is decided under all of the case law and all of the precedent that's been set, Disney, 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 um, as soon as a corporation used their freedom of speech, as was determined by a conservative set of judges in the Supreme Court for um, uh, and how they wanted to use their money, all of a sudden they're all about authoritarian statism, attacking the free market and manipulating it. I love that. That's just the most delicious hypocrisy I've come across in a while. It's great. It's great. Uh, I mean, Trump, the capitalist, got him to cheer tariffs on a uh, uh, on a raw resource. Public, you know, it, it's the the king of the hill meme. Like, if those kids knew what a tariff was, they would be super angry. Fucking these these motherfuckers don't know what a tariff is. Public, they think China was paying the tariffs. They still do. Go ask some of these morons. They think China was paying tariffs. They think it was on China. They're like, yeah, China pays the tariffs. Like, you fuckers don't understand what a tariff is. Like, they're dumb. They're dumb. They're poorly educated. They are ignorant. They don't have the necessary information to make these decisions. <laughs> and so, yeah, you have fucking people that are like, yeah, cheering on the, the tariffs. And it's like, you morons. That's a tax on us. Like there's there's legitimately so fiscal conservatives still running around screaming fucking Trump's tariffs blah 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 and you're like dude that is a tax on us you're advocating for taxing us you're, you're running around yelling raise taxes and they are too dumb to realize what they're saying fucking free market fucking capitalism free market shut Disney down. I love these people. I love them. They're the dumbest motherfuckers walking around. Hey, if you need a quick buck, if you hear somebody yelling about, if you hear somebody yelling about how tariffs on Chinese goods were being paid by the Chinese, all you need to know past that is that's somebody you could probably sell like a screen door to for their boat. Right? Like it, it's, they're dumb. They're dumb. So take them. I remember doing an economics class in freshman year and the shit I learned was advanced by these PPCs. Yeah, no, public. Dude, they're they're woefully ignorant. It's astounding how little these people know. And they advocate for one thing while do they scream for one thing, they do it another. Yeah, find the easy cons. Dude, take it from Dig and I. Take it from a pair of fucking Vegas residents and fucking native native on the part of Dig here. Uh, take it from the Vegas people. Find the grift. Find the grift. Take the easy con. We, I live in a city that is a multi-billion dollar enterprise built solely off the concept of, yeah, dummies don't know how to do basic math. Use it. Bobby, you left Vegas. You don't count anymore. You're in some backwater fucking hellhole helping some like third tier casino. <laughs> Come back to the motherland, Bobby. Come back to the motherland. We will we will embrace you once again in the warm libertarian bosom that is Las Vegas. Don't ever come back, man. Don't ever come back. You escaped. You escaped, man. Uh Hey, now, largest casino in Louisiana. Hey, hey, I've got the highest IQ in this remedial class. Uh, and someone who talks economics, uh, po uh, economic politics like that, ignorant, you're uh, for sure a big, big green sign. Yep. Oh. Do you think there's a disadvantage to learning theory first, then direct action? Yes, I do. E-Composer, I, I legitimately do. Um... Yeah, I think direct action first, then theory. I I, 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 yeah, yeah, I sincerely think that. I think you need to learn 
what it takes to do some shit in the streets and then learn the other stuff. Yeah. Sad thing is this place kicked Stratosphere's ass when it came to making money. I mean, it's a Stratosphere. Has the Stratosphere been a fucking tier one for a while, Bobby? I mean, there's this... Locally, they're just kind of... I mean... Like, not like they're the Aria, the Cosmo, or fucking any of these other, like, no, not ever. Yeah, I'm like, was the Stratosphere ever, like, a, t a top tier? I mean, it's just, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. I almost went for a degree in mathematics, but stopped because my dad was going on about how I should do accounting instead. I said, fuck it, and did music, which I dropped out of. <laughs> You're like, fine, I'll compromise by dropping out of a music degree. <laughs> um... Yeah, it's like too too hard, uh, too far north, too hard for the strip walker to go to. Um, <laughs> fair enough, Wilhelm. That's fair enough. Um, oh, public. I'm sorry. It's astounding. It's astounding how bad it is. The resort is nice, though. I don't think I've ever been to like the Stratosphere Resort. I've been up it. That's it. Yeah, I don't. I've never, never stayed there. The last place I stayed at in this town was the M, actually, which was nice. It was back when the M was um, oh Resorts World. Yeah, okay, never mind then. Um, yeah, I stayed at the M like a bunch of years ago, back when it was still nice and they weren't cutting corners every which way. From what I've heard, they're cutting corners every which way. Um, but the room was nice, the service was nice, the spa was nice, the pool was nice. Uh, and caps aren't allowed on this channel and authoritarians are the antithesis of what I am. Uh, and caps aren't anarchists. They are libertarian. They are right wing libertarians. And even then I hesitate to give them the libertarian tag. I have 12 hours of content on YouTube dissecting, analyzing and repudiating all of their bullshit ideology. Uh, I am an actual anarchist. Um, authoritarian leftists can f go fuck themselves just like any any other authoritarian. I don't give a shit if they're uh, left, right, or center. That's yeah, interesting. The ANCAP fucking... It is ANCAP, right? On the command? Should that have kicked off? Where's my links? Oh, no, it's fuck ANCAPs. That's why. <laughs> it's, it's fuck ANCAPs. Jesus Christ. It's been a minute. So, there you go. Don't waste your time. Strat is empty except for the lingerie store. To be fair, American libertarians are very weird. Yeah, American libertarians are an anomaly amongst the, the global political science commune, community, uh, diaspora. Um, so, yeah, there's your answer to, to whoever the fuck. Um, Oh, yeah. And if we <clears throat> go back to the history of actual anarchists and authoritarian leftists, <clears throat> you aren't glazing. Um, I have to say the idea of an authoritarian leftist has never sat well with me. It seems like being a leftist, being an authoritarian or polar opposite. No, it's just because leftism is a fucking bad term. Um, yeah, it's the, 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 the fault lies there discern is with leftist. Yeah, that's not what that means. I mean, you know, we're talking about North American libertarianism right now. Um, yeah, anybody who stands like if if you see a picture of like Lenin or some shit on somebody's background 
Uh, if you see like a hammer and sickle or Lenin or whatever the fuck or Stalin, I mean, Jesus Christ, if you see Stalin run. But if you see Lenin, basically what you're dealing with is some fucking edgelord who's never read a lick of theory. What they do is they read like a couple of fucking paragraphs or passages out of um, some various screeds and then they declare themselves a fucking X, Y, and Z. Uh, English or Spanish. We do allow Spanish. But English prim uh, primarily. But yeah, if you want to speak Spanish, we can, we'll can. we work with Spanish as well. Um, but anything outside that, we can't immediately check it. It's gone. So power goes to people's head, and the more extremist you become, the more toxic individual you become rather than collective. Yep. Um, Did that get handled? That got handled. Cool. All right. Um, oh, God damn it. There we go. <laughs> Why not, Glazy? I can't drink a beer with a conservative or a commie but that has nothing to do with the conservative or the commie. That has everything to do with the beer. Espanol, see. Red bureaucracy, the dictatorship of the intellectualist. I don't drink beer with strangers. That's because you are a conservative. You're a social conservative, Glazy. Economically, you lean libertarian socialist. Socially, you lean conservatist. Uh, have I been to see the T-Wizard? No, I haven't been to see the T-Wizard lately. I need to. Um, I don't drink beer with people who need daddies, this nonsense. Oh... Uh, Dude, you're basically like, you're like a trad con in the bedroom, Glazy. Except for the uh, whole uh, needing to be humiliated kink. That's, that's about the, but that is fairly common amongst the trad cons. The trad cons do have a tendency to seek out like dominatrices and stuff like that. So, you know. I just don't drink beer or any alcohol. Yeah, Disfran, I'm I'm not a I'm not an alcohol drinker. I do keep a, a bottle of like good dom I like good dommy mommy says Wilhelm. Uh I keep a bottle of uh scotch, single malt. Yeah. You know, public. It's yeah, it's easy to be a polite asshole. Did um did that did that one just do a drive by? I'm guessing that one idiot just did a drive-by, right? I love that the one idiot, that fucking ANCAP moron, fucking has not a furry in their uh, in their description. Holy shit! When when you have to declare in your like profile description on Twitch that you're not a furry, homie, you're a furry. When you, you know you, hi, my name's Kai. What's your name? Not I'm not gay. Okay, now I think you're gay. Like what, when the first thing you say to me is like a declarative statement like that, like I'm not a furry. Um, do you want to go get your fur suit? 
I'm I'm okay. You can you can go get it. Like that's dude, that's 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 super indicative. Like when the first words out of your fucking mouth are like, I'm not a furry. I didn't ask. But okay. You okay there, Pookie? Would you feel better with your furry butt uh, furry butt plug tail in? I'm okay with it. You can wear it. Doesn't bother me in the least. Jesus Christ, these people are fucking just fucked up. I'm not a furry. I'm an other kin. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Caboose. I'm not a furry in that that I don't dress up. <clears throat> yeah. Is that like the don't muck with kids thing from Always Sunny? Um, it's their comfort tale. Uh, I'm not an ex is such a high school mentality. I know, right? Dude, I've said before, I'm not a, I'm not a furry, but I dress up. Like I've said numerous times, if somebody had a high quality suit that fit me, that was aesthetically pleasing to me. And there was a furry con here in town, a hundred percent. I'd be in that suit going to the furry convention. I do. I'd want to experience it. I definitely want to experience it. Right. Come on. People are boring. People are boring. Exactly, Dig. Oh, look, Glazy's being conservative again. He, he can't quite understand wanting to explore one's like limitations and sexuality and experience other things within the socio-political spectrum. Who would have guessed? Glazy de demonstrating his, his conservative nature. Thousand percent, I would yiff the fuck out of that convention. I'm not a furry. Yeah, just to see. Uh, honestly, I think a body paint with furry accessories would suit you more. Hey, I'll take it. Fucking cat. Like I said, if there's a furry con and somebody's willing to go and like, you know, yeah. Like, I'm down. I'm down. People are boring. People are fucking boring. I swear to God. My girlfriend thinks I'd be a sloth, but I feel like it's a burn. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Butler, thanks for the follow. Uh, there's a lesbian couple on YouTube I watch who went to a fur convention uh, once, uh, one time. Uh, it was super adorable. Um, I'd wear it. It's just my aesthetic. I, I literally just searched for blue, white, fox fursuit. Something in this category. Right? I'd wear it. That's it's just the aesthetic I'd go for. If it if it met that, I'd be down. Whatever. No big deal. Now do white, blue, fox body paint. Well, all right. Well, I'll, I'll turn it off. I'll take it to me while I do this. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> that's what I figured. Um, there are no photos I can show on stream, cat. <laughs> Not a one. Not a one. Um... I did see that you compose uh, you composer. <laughs> uh, Glazy, some of us see experiencing new things as interesting. Some of us want to do more in our life than just um, fish next to a gator, a messed up gator in a creek. Right? Like that's some of us like experiencing new things, new foods, new people, new places, new ideas, new tastes, new flavors, new ways to have sex, new ways to enjoy your life, new experiences, man. Like, I mean, it doesn't even have anything to do with kink being kinky as fuck. It just has to do with like experiencing the human condition. What's it like? 
It holds an attraction for somebody for some reason. I'm interested. Maybe there's something there. Maybe there isn't. Maybe I'll just end up sweaty and fucking hot and annoyed. But I'll give it a shot. That's boring. Henderson's not going to host Pride anymore? Makes sense. Checking shit out. Have you no curiosity? Exactly. Oh, because the kink stuff. Yeah. No, it makes sense. Makes sense. Dude. Kink at Pride has been a problem for the gay community for ages. The more social conservative amongst us, it just, it argues against our position. That's hilarious. Dig, I didn't know about that, but that's hilarious to know that. That fucking Henderson's not going to host Pride anymore because of the kink stuff. Yeah. I expect to see more and more of that, by the way. Fucking told you. Fucking told you. It's bad optics and it has been for as long as we've been doing it. Jack, half the reason I love my country is I can explore a lot of shit here. Exactly. I just, yeah. That lack of intellectual curiosity freaks me the fuck out, Glazy. I, it, it just, yeah. It's not even like, you know, when people say like, oh my God, you skydive? How, how, how can you do that? Oh, fucking like, it's not even that like, cause I understand the inherent risk to skydiving and people that can freak some people out, but that's like not eating a taco. Like that's it's saying like, I would never do that. That's like saying I'm, I won't have a taco or something. It's, 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 it's like the, the risk factor on that is so intrinsically low. Couldn't imagine. Dude, cat, I told you it was fucking coming. I told you it was a war. I told you it was going to be a fucking thing. And now they're rounding up trans kids. Shit's happening. Kink ruined pride and I will never go and I'm kinky as fuck. Yeah, Caleb, I'm in the same camp. Dude, I'm the kinkiest fucker in here, probably. Like, it's, or one of them. Like, it's fucking, dude, we're, we've got a fucking crew, right? We got some freaks. And we're all like, yeah, keep that shit out of pride. Don't do it. Don't do it. They did it and they fucked up and they found out. <laughs> Step ladders make me uncomfortable. Like, you're not my real ladder public I, I don't even, I don't even yeah you know what you get both of them public <laughs> oh. um no not on my side cat it's it's solid on my side yeah frame rate's good over here so well, control, control refresh if people are having issues. Bobby, how do you have a problem with heights? You're already like a thousand feet off the ground. <laughs> Carpe. Oh, uh, yeah. So, okay. That's good to know, Dig. It's good to know. No more pride in Henderson because, you know, fucking kink. Because kink at pride. Oh, one day we may learn. One day we may learn. Of course, it's not the Wii we we um, concerned about. The bigger they are, harder they fall. I know you got a you got a lot further to fall to the ground, and you break easily. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, uh, yeah. I I there's not much in this world that I wouldn't give a shot. I wouldn't try. No lessons were learned. Exactly, Jack. Bedroom shit in public. Kind of like edge lords everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just found out, Carpe, that our town, our sub, our, like Henderson, Nevada, which is most of fucking Las Vegas, 
Uh, it's where most of us reside. Henderson's not going to host Pride anymore because of the kink at Pride. Yep. Love it. I love being right. I love being right. Uh, dude, you can't be doing that shit. You can't be doing that shit. You can't be doing that shit. You cannot be rolling. Dude, that picture that goes around a occasionally of that fucking dude in full pup gear being pet by that little girl freaks me the fuck out every time I see it. Every single time I see it making the rounds on social media, I start going off because of that shit. It's like, homie, you are fucking up the optics so bad. You are fucking up the optics so bad. I don't care, cat. That shit happens. To be fair, that shit happens at every pride parade. Jesus, half these fucking kink at Pride Parade photos that I just pulled up. I can't even fucking, I can't put this shit on fucking stream. Dude, I can't put this shit on stream. I can't put this shit on stream. I can't put this shit on stream. Oh, I for sure can't put that shit on stream. Oh, there's a child in the background of that one. Who would have guessed? Oh. Jesus Christ. Kid in that one. Oh, a bunch of kids in that one. Yeah, 100%. Happens at every fucking pride parade. Been pissing me off for years. Kids should be assumed to be there because it is public. Exactly, Carpe. It's public. Kids should automatically be assumed to be there. And I think I can show this one. Hold on. Let me just pay really, really close attention to this one really quickly. I think I can. I'm. You know what? I'm not even gonna risk it. I'm not even gonna fucking risk it. Jesus Christ. Just look at some of these. Jesus. All right. Here's one. This is from, I mean, this, there you go. I'll put this one in the comments. There you go. Here's just one. This isn't even by far, not even close to the worst. Not even close to the worst. This is the most tame of them all. There you go. It's in the comments on the Discord server. What's up, Smite? I'm here to purposefully misunderstand anarchism and then spread my baby brain take all across Twitter. Well, welcome, Smite. Uh, we will help you misunderstand anarchism uh, and sp uh, spread that baby brain take all over Twitter. Um, I must admit, though, when I saw baby brain, I thought baby batter. Uh <laughs> Uh, cat, the MMA gloves allow for them to work on their knuckles so they can paw their way across the ground. Yes. And that one was tame as fuck compared to some of the shit I've said. Yeah, Jack, no, trust me. All of the photos of pro like kink at pride sort of shit photos. Yeah.
Well, Kat, I'll be sure to put you in touch with the hardcore puppy play community kinksters so that the, you can inform them as to what, what knuckle wrapping methodologies would be ideal for their fetishistic play. I'll be sure to I'll be sure to make that connection for you. <laughs> Fuck it. I should be using hand wraps instead in my fucking pedantic dumbass. <laughs> um It's so weird how the right wing people keep managing to spread this LGBT predator myth, meanwhile, at Kink Pride. <laughs> Cat worried about the wrong thing. I mean, you know. Yep. Yep, I, I, you know. If you don't want to do all fours, pony girls are bipeds. Uh. Let's, uh, let me turn, let me turn my, oh my god. Oh, wow. Yeah, I got a photo of what was happening around the corner at Pride. Holy shit. Your pedantic dumbass line just now is a sound effect on my stream. I mean, Smite, um, you're about two hours and 32 ish minutes into this stream. When it goes live on YouTube, feel free to download and clip it. Dude, all my stuff is Creative Commons. So, yeah, like, or grab the clip now. Grab the clip now. Clip it and fucking grab the clip. Either way, yeah, you're more welcome to it. You're more than welcome to it. Asp in that face. Yeah, I was I was looking at a photo of some shit going down, like literally down an alleyway off of the Pride Parade route. Um Yeah. Yeah. It was a dude in full leather gear, full body not full leather gear, full body harness with the the the, the attached cock ring piece to it. Right? And he's just getting railed and dudes are standing there watching and you can see right down the alley to the pride parade. This wasn't some Folsom street fair shit. This is, I know what Folsom looks like. I know what the, the, the kink events look like. This was pride. You can see right down the fucking alleyway into pride. There's fucking, yeah, dudes just literally going at like, yeah. Oh, Seen in DC where a group of drag queens had a kid friendly corner so the adults could play elsewhere. It was publicized pretty well at that point. Do the kids become a parental responsibility? Uh, I mean, tech support, yeah. I mean, Zippy. <laughs> Good for them. It's fucking kids, like right down there. Yeah, Glazy, I, I don't even. I can't help you with your boring. Your boring sex life. Sorry, man. You're you're on your own with your boring ass sex life. I could explain it to you, but I still don't think you could get it. I, I, I honestly, I could explain it biochemically. I could explain to you what the hormone response is even, and I don't think you'd get it. So, it makes you hornier, Glazy. It makes you hornier. That's, that's the long and short of it. Phil Helm. I'm with Glazy. I want my dick to be free. Who needs pants? Um, Zippy. That's the fucking problem. Zippy, that comp, but tell them that kids that's sex and not to worry about it. Dude, that's the problem. It's about optics, Zippy. 
It's not about the fucking tell. It's not about the reaction from the kids, Zippy. It has nothing to do with the reaction from the kids. It has everything to do with the re reaction from greater society. There's a bunch of leather-clad gay dudes banging each other in the ass 20, free, 20 feet from kids with fucking balloons and flags. That's what it's about. Uh, Zippy, the fuck society attitude got us to where we are today with women's rights being removed and, gay, and trans kids being arrested. Like, yeah, fuck society. And here they come, they're rounding us up. We all got to remember that no one actually wants to parent, it wants to actually parent their kid, right? We have to take these reactions into account whether we want to or not. We live here, shit in your own house. It's, it's, it's about moderating that line between society and the individual. I'm sorry. Even if I lived in an anarchistic commune with y'all, if every day I walked outside my house and you, y'all were like just fucking on the lawn, right? We just, I walk outside and every single day y'all are like fucking on my lawn. We're going to have some issues. I'm mean, like, guys, can we just not have orgies every single day, like in the common space? I'm tired of wiping off bodily fluids from the well, right? Like I'm going to tell you to fucking occasionally knock it off. Look, we can have orgies out in the fucking common space from time to time. Yeah, no, we can do it from time to time, but dude, Jesus Christ, we got to fucking like, you know, oh, hey everyone, we're hosting on the commune today that where we do organic gardening, we'll be having the kindergartners over to show them some gardening techniques in our, uh, in our sustainable, uh, sustainable permaculture gardens. Uh, guys, could you not have an orgy off to the side of the fucking vinyl uh, vinyl tunnel runs where the kids are gonna be right like there's come on come on there needs to be a reasonable discussion surrounding some of this shit and this is what's gotten the lgbt community in trouble over and over and over again is because we refuse to self-moderate like we should be free to do whatever we want no, even anarchism dictates. Yeah, keep the orgies at the orgitarium. Even anarchism dictates it is about maximizing the individual liberties and freedoms in balance with other people's individual liberties and freedoms, right? The moment that you start pushing yours above theirs, you are infringing upon theirs. You don't have a right to have leather sex in front of other people's children. That's not a thing that exists. This goes the other way too, Glazy. You don't have a right to fucking round people up and fucking deny them an education because they feel that they are a woman instead of what you feel they are. Right? This, this goes the other direction too. Don't get too excited. Our freedom ends at line of sight on other people's kids. Yeah, basically. Like, it's just... <laughs> my right to swing my cock ends at unwanting faces. Yeah, like, it's just... Dude, this conversation is... Dude, this is some of the shit that shot us in the fucking foot. It is. Like, th there's... Look... It's not the direct cause, but it's a cause. Kink at pride is part of the conversation as to why we are having the problems we have today. Yeah. Like, it, it just is. Like, it's, it's, it's a part of the conversation. That, like, yeah. The same group that wants to push their Bible into our personal lives have the right to have the Bible in their personal life and not have a dude walking around in front of them in public in fucking kink leather gear. Like fucking with a butt plug and his cock out and a goddamn cock ring and a collar on being walked like a fucking dog. I get it. Like I get it from their side, but again, 
it's not an equal discussion. While Glazy may think this line of conversation is based, the fact of the matter is, is that the the gay leather kink scene isn't exactly killing people. Okay, so the, the harm done here is disproportionate. The other side of this argument, the other side of this conversation ends in genocide. It ends in tying up gay men and beating them and leaving them out to die tied to fences. It ends up in hate crimes. It ends up in rapes. It ends up in violent assaults and actual real genocides. So don't get me wrong for a minute. I'm talking about this from an OPSEC and a political activist point of view. I am highly critical of kink at pride because that is doing harm to our progressive agenda. It is that simple. The people who are critical of pro kink at pride from the other team are genocidal, murdering, rapist, psychopathic, Bible-thumping maniacs who need put in their fucking place. Okay, so don't for one second think that this is somehow an acquiescence to those douchebags. Those douchebags need smacked around with their fucking crosses. Some sense. Nuance. Yes. Like, don't, don't get it twisted. For me, the criticism of kink at pride comes from a purely utilitarian point of view. This is pure act utilitarianism. It's it. It's, it's utilitarianism writ large. I'm looking at a political activist agenda. I'm looking at a progressive agenda. I'm looking at how best to en enact it and how to get it through, right? And how not to catch some bodies on our side. That's where that criticism comes from. It is in no way, shape, or form an agreeance with the other side of that discussion. The other side of that discussion has a very real blood on their hands, and I hope they suffer for it. I hope there is a hell. I hope there is a Judeo-Christian hell. So all of these horrible people can go and suffer in their made-up, make-believe land of eternal, fiery lakes for all of time. Because fuck them. They're horrible, horrible, child-abusing, murderous, abusive, rapist assholes. They like to marry kids. They like to diddle kids. They like to beat gay people. They like to beat women. They like to murder those who are different or brown-colored or whatever. Fuck all those people. But if we want to get some shit done... We need to take kink into pride, uh, kink and pride into account. We need to take optics into account. We need to take the greater societal values into account when we do this sort of activist work. We have to, whether we want to or not, whether we find it palatable or not, is not, neither here nor there. War is messy and it's a terrible thing and very few people ever want to actually do it and the ones who do are fucking sociopaths. I don't even think we have to take the high road. I just think we need to fucking figure out which road works best, Carpe. Fucking which road has the least amount of obstacles on it. Fuck high, fuck moralism. Fuck moralism. High road, low road, I don't give a shit. Which road has the least amount of obstacles on it and ends up with the least amount of bodies on our team? Simple. It's that simple. How many, which, which road ends up with the least amount of gay and trans kids dead? I'll take that fucking road. Some roads are still under construction. Build the road, bitch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, it, it just... You know, yeah. The unassailable one. Hmm, fair enough. Semantics. It's always a semantical d d d uh, conversation at the end of the day, isn't it, Carpe? Oh... Yeah, so, yeah, personally, personally, I'd say have a fucking conversation with, uh, with your fucking kids, right? 
Like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know why a dude in a leather harness means that you don't have to parent your child anymore, right? Like, fucking, mommy, mommy, what's that? Some people like to live their lives differently and they can make decisions and dress up all they want as an adult. And sometimes they do. And sometimes they do that together. I'm, I'm sorry. Like what, what? Yeah. Like when, when did, when did pride parades mean that you don't have to parent your fucking kid? Oh, that's right. None of these assholes wants to parent their fucking kid. They just go to a Bible and a belt. They're like, you know. Fucking, what's that old Stan Hope routine about? You, you always wonder why your kids are so fucked up about sex and life and they won't talk to you. It's because he's probably being steady, a steady face fucked by Pastor Hammerhand, uh, by, uh, by Pastor Hammerhand down at the fucking church. And every time your kid would ask you something, you'd freak out because you're a prude and you tell him to go talk to the pastor. Mommy, does. Is it normal for for a man to put his put his put his pee pee in say a, a a boy's mouth around my age? What? Huh? What? Where where do you get these ideas? You need to speak to Pastor Hanrahan about this. No. <coughs> Welcome to the cycle of fucking sexual education on the social conservative side. We we wonder why so many of them fuck kids. Fucking oh, uh, let's see. I'm from uh, I'm from Noah. Uh, f- Zippy, that's basically what happened to me. Yeah, dude, it's it's a joke, but it's the fucking truth. How much sexual abuse and sexual violence occurs within those fucking circles? Because nobody will talk about sex. They're all so fucking uptight and prudish about it. Jesus Christ, it's just a dick. Calm down. This is why I love, like, the German... It's European, but the Germans are really, really, really good at it. Uh, The European attitude towards nudism. Um, Germans, like... There's there there's actually a video like there, when I made the rounds a few weeks ago months ago something like that it was a fucking kid um, that like was running down the street naked in Germany and people were just like laughing there's like entire like sections like not even nudist beaches it's just like you go to a beach and people will be naked sometimes Germans and Europeans understand the difference between nudity and sexuality just because there's a naked person doesn't mean sex is happening and even if sex is happening they don't take it that seriously either like it's it's just a part of life calm down sex happens right nudity happens so yeah i i much prefer that like enlightened attitude what's up a resolution germans be sunbathing at public parts in the nude yeah dude they happen it happens all the time it's just a common thing like, it, imagine, imagine a dude, like, imagine anybody getting naked at a non-nude beach in America. You'd be on a fucking list. All bodies are sexual in conservative circles, ankle, shoulders, wrists, necks, hair. Yeah, that's how you end up with that fucking Victorian nonsense where they start putting skirts on pianos and shit because the leg of a piano might be sexual. How fucking dumb are you? Uh... But I can see... But, 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 but I can see her vagina and it makes me all feel all fuzzy. Uh, it's so funny. Oh, let's see. Hang on. It's so funny that they're scared of sex from nudity, but naked people uh, chilling are gross. <laughs> uh, sex is great, except when it's used to pull souls into this dimension without consent. Hmm. Beautiful shots of Berliners sunbathing nude on their lunch break. Hmm. Fucking. Just, God, we suck. (sighs) Mm, That piano got some nice keys. Beast said, public said, wait, are we not normally aroused by pianos? (laughs) 
<laughs> Zippy, well, they punish girls for showing shoulders now because it distracts boys. Oh, that's been a while. Zippy, that's been forever. Dude, girls in high school during my era as well couldn't, like, have exposed shoulders because it would distract the boys. Jesus fucking Christ. Keep it in your pants, kid. Um... I mean, tickling the ivory sounds like a euphemism anyway. Mm. Yep. ISIS at one point banned certain arrangements of vegetables in markets because they could be arranged in sexually suggestive ways. This rule was enforced in some markets in Baghdad. True story. I don't doubt it in the least fact. I don't doubt it in the least. Fucking socially conservative people are some of the worst people on the planet, if not the worst. Look at all the genocidal maniacs. They're all social conservatives. Uh, conservatives. Dude, fucking take your pick. They're all about that. They're all tie, uh, tied up in knots about it. Fucking, yeah. I, I, I legitimately, I might put that forward. Social conservatives are the worst people on the planet. They, they're, they're, they cause the most harm. Social conservatism is the greatest of the ills. Um, keep your aubergines away from my Kiwi infidel. Uh, we have a few new beaches here where I live, City Resolution. Way more chill spot th uh, to be than the regular public beach. I don't doubt that in the least. Uh, yes, Cupcake, I, I I gathered that. No wonder JFK said he was a Berliner. Uh, the skirts made the piano legs sexier. Uh, not Baghdad, but I forgot the city, but it stands. Definitely not an FBI. Uh, uh, so you know, definitely not a FBI. The per, uh, the correct grammar on that would be an. Um, as far as a versus an, as far as acronyms and initialisms go, it is based off the pronunciation of the first letter. And since the first letter is f, and it is pronounced e f f, the e is what uh, what determines the word that would be used for an initialism or an acronym. So technically the pr uh, correct grammar on your name would be definitely not an FBI. So, you know, uh, <laughs> you just sent me back into the spaghetti strap discourse as cat. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm so glad I've never had a convo about spaghetti strap tank tops ever. Uh, keep it, there was the aubergines. Uh, it tells me everything I need about it. Fucking some sense to use an aubergine. Uh, I remember hearing that a lot, despite him constantly mentioning <laughs> public. Lots of pedo and incest things, too, not to be mean. Yeah. Um, conservatives are horrible people. They are. Uh, and a lot of put an and in front of the H words because the H is not pronounced in British. Yes. Eh. And because H, eh, 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 H is an and as well. Oh, holy shit. My mind is now going in grammar circles like a motherfucker right <laughs> now. It's this fact. Uh, no. No, I can't possibly summarize what we've covered so far. That's three hours worth of content. We've talked about numerous headlines and blah, blah, blah. Um... Fucking, well, about Europe. Dutch Twitter was having a conflict today about a female MP showing a single bared shoulder. So it's not all that perfect over here. Oh, God, they want their fucking, dude, fuck it. <laughs> that's hilarious. Do you have any links? Give me a uh, name. That's that's hilarious. Um, And fucking, like, you just made the watch list, buddy, for that. Uh, Definitely. I'm already on multiple watch lists. Throw me on another. Um, fun fact, an apron used to be a napron. Hmm, interesting. Um, I can't govern with that harlot showing her shoulders. I love harlot. Harlot's a good word. Harlot's a good word. It's a good throwback when you want to make a sarcastic comment. And this, this harlot. You can get that Rush Limbaugh on the end of it. This harlot. Yeah, I love that. Fucking this, this harlot out there. Hmm. It's a good word. Hussy. Two, two votes for hussy. Some sense and zippy both go for hussy. This fucking hussy. Um...
You like broad and hussy. I like I, broad for me is is more of a, a pejorative. Broad for me is fucking broad. <laughs> uh, floozy. Interesting. There's a fucking throwback. Fucking old Sally. She's just nothing but a floozy. I mean, hussy's in that like category of fucking harlot where it's so antiquated. It's kind of cute. Fact. Uh, broad for me is a little too. A flagrant tart. <laughs> Jesus Christ, some sense. What what fucking century are you from? Um. Yeah, AJ, broad always felt mean. Yeah. <laughs> Strup it. Bopper, some old co- old school West Coast shit. Uh Seriously? Forbes is reporting that Ukrainian troops have fought all the way to the Russian border. Ukrainian forces around Kharkiv, whatever, Kharkiv, Kharkiv, in northeastern Ukraine appear to have pushed Russian troops east past Ternova, a settlement on the Russian border. If confirmed, Ukrainians' liberation of Ternova would mark an inflection point in the wider war. I'm telling you, I'm fucking telling you, dude, Ukraine's coming out of this with more land than they went in. They're coming out with more tanks than when they went in. They're coming out with more land when they, than when they went in. This is going to be the fucking goofiest war in my lifetime. Uh, just drop it in chat name. Thank you. No, no, no. It, it's cat. Like we had already talked about the link. Just drop it in chat, man. That's fucking, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> it is. It, it's, I don't know if it's the goofiest war ever, uh, Caleb, but it's the stupidest one in my, it's the funniest war in my lifetime. It's easily the funniest war in my lifetime. This fucking this shit is hilarious. <laughs> St. Petersburg? You mean Zelensky grad? Fuck it. <laughs> NASA satellites, NASA heat detecting satellites picked up some of the fire. They picked up the fighting. It's, it's, it's as yet we're waiting on secondary confirmation. Christ. So this is the photo. Hang on. So this is this is the photo that got got uh, some like social conservatives uh, in the Netherlands all riled up. Social conservatives are the worst people on the planet. They are. Cope and seethe Puritans. Exactly. Exactly. I'd laugh they took St. Petersburg and just gave it back to Finland. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Fuck it. Here you go. Um, yeah, I, 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 I think I'm, I'm willing to, like, just... This isn't a familiar word for brothel put on something decent. This is, so this isn't a whorehouse. This isn't a whorehouse put on something decent. All right. Uh, what what did you uh, what did you use as your title? There. I just changed the stream title to social conservatives are the worst people. 
Uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh... That might be a good translation of the word, yes. Yeah, it's. I figured as much. I figured as much it would be a whorehouse. Oh, it's worst. It's worst. Yeah, the word is worst. Not worse. Worst. Did I? Oh, I did. Done. Fixed. Worst. I've seen more skin working in finance than she was showing. Worst, meaning most worst. What do you call someone who's socially conservative but fiscally progressive? A Nazi? I don't know. Um, This isn't a Denny's put on something decent. Oh, Denny's. All right. So we'll see what that bait. We'll see. We'll we'll throw that bait on the line and see if, see what it trolls in. Oh, we didn't even mention. I mean, it's so common news. Um, like, I literally didn't even mention. Um, the fact that we have a baby f formula shortage in this country while we're trying to force people to have babies. That is the most American shit. That is the most American shit. Fucking, we... Uh, we're, we're forcing people into having babies and we can't fucking, we can't even supply baby formula. <laughs> we're so broken. We're so broken. It's so fucking amazing. Um, Denny's. Never seen a Denny's. We got our first Australian Taco Bell last year. Dude, Denny's is amazing. Denny's is the, the home of like ne'er-do-well high school students in the middle of the night and drunk people who just need a haven while they try and fucking get their shit together. Denny's is amazing. It's garbage, but it's amazing. Breast is best, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. Um... So you got to raise the demand so you get a higher supply or something. I don't know. <laughs> Moon's over my hammy. Yes. Yes. Oh. Uh, late night talks at Denny's are awesome. Yes. 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 That was IHOP for me in Boston. Fuck the International House of Pancakes. Uh, yep. You need a cup of coffee and a booth to sleep it off in. Come on down to Denny's. Denny's is amazing. It really is. Waffle House is an acceptable southern strategy. Um... Let's see. Abbott, the same company that makes the COVID tests, has 70% of the formula milk industry ownership, and they didn't want to repair some stuff on their machines. Well, their machines got some sort of bacteria, and the FDA forced them to shut down for safety reasons. Abbott also got $6 billion in tax cut for stock buybacks the year before. Sounds about right. Um... Waffle House is shit. 500 flies harassing me while I eat. Well, Glazy, the flies came in with you, so that's on you. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you for that. Um, fact. Yeah.
Let's see. How does America compare across the other 26 OECD countries as far as poverty goes? Well, in table one, we can compare poverty rates across the 26 OECD countries. And in this table, poverty is being measured as a percent of the population falling below one half of a particular country's median household income. This is what's known as a relative measure of poverty and is used extensively in making cross-national comparisons. The first column shows the overall poverty rate for each country. The second column displays the poverty rate for children. And the third column indicates the percentage distance from the poverty line to the average income of those in poverty. So let's find us. Oh, it's interesting. Fascinating. Fascinating. So let's see. So find that the U.S. rates of poverty are substantially higher and more extreme than those found in the other 25 nations. The overall U.S. rate using this measure stands at 17.8% compared to the 25 country average of 10.7%. Uh, <clears throat> and the Scandinavian Benelux countries tend to have the lowest rates of poverty. For example, the overall rate of poverty in Denmark is only 5.5%. Interesting. That's fascinating. So looking at the poverty rates for children, we see similar patterns. The United States, again, leads all nations in having the highest rate of child poverty at 20.9%, while the overall average stands at 11.7%. Again, we see the Scandinavian countries having the lowest rates of child poverty, with Denmark seeing only 2.9% of its children falling into poverty. Finally, the third column. The third column indicates the poverty gap, which is defined as the percentage by which the average income of the poor falls below the poverty line. This gives us an overall gauge of the depth and severity of poverty in each country. Once again, we find the United States is at the very high end of the measure. The distance between the poor's average income and the poverty line is nearly 40%. Only Italy has a greater poverty gap than the U.S. Hmm. Fascinating. Fascinating. So... Which one of the idiots in chat decided to say that richest nation, it had to be male. It had to be male rights, right? That's the only ignorant motherfucker in here that would say that stupid shit. Well, glazy pro. Mm -hmm. Richest nation in, the his in history, but whatever fits your narrative. There it is. Fucking. Yep. Only the birthplace of literal fascism is worse than the U.S., so male rights, do you have a rebuttal, my friend? We may be the richest country in the history of the world, but we also have the highest rate of poverty in the world, in the developed nations. Yeah, it's, it's Molly was fucking, that's uh, Mansa Musa, right? Molly. His, his rebuttal was to push it off on prisoners. How in the fuck? Hold on, I'm scrolling back. <clears throat> how is, is this? How can this be right? Is this counting prisoners or something? Something has to be off. Oh, poor, poor Pookie. He encountered math that was contradictory to his worldview, and his immediate go-to was to throw it to a marginalized community. That's that's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Blame shifting like a typical lib. I mean, he's a male rights activist who never talks about male rights. He's just a misogynistic uh, authoritarian dickhead. He never talks about male rights. He's literally a male rights activist. It's like if I fucking was like, by the way, I'm an anarchist who never talks about anarchism. My entire channel is built around the the concept of spreading educational uh, uh, educational information uh, through the lens of an anarchistic uh, method of analysis, but never talk about anarchism whatsoever. He's a male rights act. Male. His name is literally Male Rights USA. He never talks about male rights. All he does is bitch about poor people, brown people, and women. Right? 
fucking he's just a typical misogynistic fucking piece of shit who can't get his dick wet dude male rights i've defended you so many times i've defended you so many times you've earned this tongue lashing Every fucking time we try and throw you a softball, you just end up in some bullshit misogynistic screed or yelling about fucking poor people. So that's on you, man. Fucking how about you actually have a conversation about your namesake? Oh, anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you count resources have not been mined, us Aussies have tons of gold, iron, and cobalt. Enjoy the tongue lashing. It's probably the only one you'll get for three years. Uh, <clears throat> it is horrible because rights for men is super important. Equality means equality, man. Right? Like, if we're going to have the conversation, let's have the conversation. But, you know, how, being, a, being a, a misogynistic, homophobic piece of shit doesn't help the conversation, right? That's not helping your brothers. Yeah, somebody fucking horny bonked on binary. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, fuck it. Let's see. We're the most imperial. Go figure. Mm, there's some sort of co side conversation. Oh yeah, uh, Abby Willow. Yeah, dude, MLs are super homophobic. It's just they're 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 they're, they're uh, socially conservative. They're socially conservative. I mean, that didn't need to be done. Who deleted? Who? I don't know which one of y'all deleted that message. That didn't need to be done. I was just saying, fucking hitting on binary with the uh, the the horny stick. Fuck it. That's all. It's a fucking meme. I'm not saying fucking pull anything. Somebody needs the 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 horny uh, the horny stick or the fucking whatever that fucking Doge fucking meme is. Anyway, yeah, that that. Thank you, thank you, cupcake. Thank you, cupcake. I, I get, I get. Well, you 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 followed through. You followed through. I get it. <laughs> I can't be can't be mad about that. Um, yeah, I I, I... <laughs> oh lord, oh lord, what are we gonna do? Ooh woo, hasp. Ooh woo. Oh. The horny cage. Oh. <laughs> Um, you dumb motherfucker. Glazy, did you say white, uh, white lives matter in response to people when they said black lives matter? Were you that guy? Were you that guy? You feel like that guy, Glazy. You feel like that guy. Were you that guy? Just own it. Did you say white lives matter when people said black lives matter? Because that's what you just did. That's what you did. Fucking let's fight for women's rights. Let's fight for rights. Or all lives matter or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Fucking dude. Ah. Uh. It's diluting the conversation, man. It's not about you at this moment. It's women's bodily autonomy that's under attack. It's not about you. You're diluting the message intentionally when you do that. Like, it's... Anyway... <clears throat> Uh, Avi Willow, um, yes. <sighs> um, yeah, Avi, um, sorry about your former friend. 
but like that's just the way it goes man that's just the way it goes um so yeah i can't wear it backwards when i'm here i actually prefer it that way but can't do it that way when i'm here um <clears throat> Zippy. Eh, some lives don't matter. Don't know which shit, though. Um, yep. So, we, uh, we can't. What? Toe that line carefully, please. Toe that line carefully. That conversation that's happening right there. Um, all right. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Uh, oh, we'll save that for next Popo's Bizarre Adventures because Jesus Christ. Um, well, go for it, Red. I'll give you the um, I'll give you the uh, the the PO box. Uh, I knew a conservative dude that broke off our friendship because my depression was a lame excuse for my existence, which is weird because I didn't really open about it to him. I mean, you know. Yeah, I just the concept pissed him off. Fascinating. Oh, hang on. Sorry, I got fucking messages here. Which one is? Okay. Cool. Just trying to keep somebody tri fucking straight. Oh, uh, I don't even know. Fucking. Oh, thanks for the follow. There. Uh, why did that not? There we go. A, a resolution, dude. Fucking social conservatives are broken. They're just broken. Social conservatives are just broken. Uh, fun random fact, I had a garage roller break today, uh, a break on me today and smack me in the face. That makes seven lifetime wounds on the face. Three more incidents and I'm on double digit scar tissue. Jesus Christ. Sell it, man. Take care of yourself. Actual quote. Let's see, Abby. Um, you aren't in that much danger. You're just exaggerating. I'm not a conservative just because I just, I reject lib culture wars. Don't talk to that person. Abby, just don't talk to that person. Beast, does it get you free coffee? Um, eh, I get it. I get it, man. I get it. Do what you got to do. Um, I think I'm good. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Jesus, that one's for Popo's Bizarre Adventures, too. The New Jersey cop who beat his infant daughter to death blamed his toddler for it, got uh, freed from jail after the judge excluded evidence. We'll get into that next Monday, probably, for Popo's Bizarre Adventures. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, blamed his fucking toddler for it and the judge fuck I swear to god um what does it mean if I drink lemonade to my throat and chest burns you've probably got heartburn issues um you've probably got like reflux problems yeah did you see the toddler no I didn't the toddler yoked that'd be hilarious um Oh, Abby, I've, I, dude, I, I, sorry, man, but like, I, I, I had a buddy for a decade, ended up uh, taking the conspiracy pipeline all the way to Jews rule the world and blacks had it better under slavery or blacks had it good under slavery. Sometimes you just got to cut them loose. Sometimes you just got to cut them loose. Uh, just keep an eye on your own sanity. Just keep an eye on your own sanity. 
And if it starts to wear on you, cut them loose. Do what you got to do. Use less sugar in the lemonade. Um, odd how once I had hopes of being a judge one day. Jesus, Aspen. I just had to top, uh, stop talking to someone. He said Elon Musk was going to save us all. <laughs> Known him 20 years. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Non-binary. Yeah, we, we talked about it for a bit. Um, covered some of the, the, the quotations. Thanks for the follow. Uh, some of the quotations from, um, <clears throat> uh, from the other Palestinian journalists that were on the scene at the time and how it was, there was no Palestinian military activity occurring and the fucking IDF just opened up on them and continued firing. It wasn't just one random stray shot. They were, and they were all vested with press vests and press helmets and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, we, we got into it. Fucking IDF gets away with whatever the fuck they want. Uh, she was a Christian, by the way. Hmm. Like, that makes a difference for the IDF. Um... Sphincter. <laughs> Beast. I just saw it. Yeah, citrus can do that. Either acid reflux or your sphincter is fucked. If your sphincter is fucked, sphincter. Uh, if your sphincter is fucked, then you need to check for Barrett's esophagus as well, just in case. With a U.S. passport? Killed American. Oh, well. Yeah. No, they don't give a shit. They don't give a shit. Uh, zealot. Uh, I met the former headmaster of a prestigious Catholic school in my city. I was delivering him a snooker table. A uh, snooker table. Uh, so he spoke to me about the history of that school. They've kept multiple sex offenders on the books, paid both them and the authorities off to keep quiet, and just transferred the culprits between schools just to save their reputation. It's been going on since 67. This is a school that Margot Robbie, Robbie went to. <clears throat> yeah. Um... Uh, is what it is. I, you know, I got, I can't, <laughs> I can't worry about Israel right now. The truth of the matter is, is to, you know, I'll talk about the headlines, but truly the only thing that is in my head these days is the war at home. Um, yeah. Could drop an Elka seltzer in the lemonade. Ooh, fizzy. Uh, yeah, um, 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 Zealot. Um, for those of you who don't know, Zealot is Rob. Um, Zealot. Um, the Catholic diocese uh, in uh, in California are asking for a Supreme Court hearing to um, undo the decisions that California as a state have done, saying that, like, yeah, no, like, you can go after the Catholic Church. Um, that you can go back in, back in history and you can file for this stuff. Um, so... Yeah, um, the, yeah, the Catholics in, in in California at least were getting hit too hard, so they don't want to be responsible for the uh, remediation or the the, the uh, <laughs> uh, they yeah they want the protected status. Like it's it's absurd. It's absurd. Fucking goddamn religious diddlers. <clears throat> Can I promote protests for Roe v. Wade? I mean, yes, but. Find your local protest. Go. There. <laughs> like, that's... Find the thing that is happening in your area that is involving direct action and do it. Done. Make, make people's lives miserable. Don't cross any lines. Watch yourselves. But... Yes. There should not be a moment of peace for any politician, anybody. Yeah, anarchist promotes direct action. Heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Boof on Brett's lawn. <laughs> yeah, you got you got other things going on up there, AJ. You got other things going on up there. Um, 
Going because the boomer in a wheelchair needs someone to push her. She's been a nurse for like 50 years. She's livid. Yeah. I have to go out and vote today too. Federal election time in Australia. I. Yeah. We we can't we can't really speak on the topic. Not really. Those who know me, those who have been members of the community for a long enough time, we all know. We all know what each other's thinking. Just go do the things. Uh, it's probably going to labor in the greens. Isn't, um... Don't you guys have labor, some labor douchebag in Australia right now talking about doing abortion bans too? The, there was one of your guys' labor people that said we should copy the U.S. and, like, you know, invalidate abortion or some shit like that. Um... I forget which one, but I heard about that. One of your guys' as liberals was doing that. Um, Jesus, there we go. go. All the way back to that beginning. Uh, Kansas conservatives trying to amend to ban abortions even from rape incest and using backward uh, misleading language in the proposed amendment. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Who would have fucking guessed? Uh, Kansas, uh, Kansas conservatives trying to make sure that rape incest babies make it full term because let's face it, the majority of their, um, their fucking constituents are basically the products of underage marriages and incestual rape and fucking shit like that. Yeah, I fucking said it. Uh, <clears throat> of course they are impossible. Of course they are, AJ. Kansas are cousin fuckers too. Kansas are fucking OG cousin fuckers. Labor's claiming it's a smear campaign. All right, well, we'll see if it's his actual smear campaign. Right now, Kansas abortion clinics serve Oklahoma and Texas patients. Yeah, dude, I want to see I want to see abortion clinics spring up like fucking firework stands right on the border of these shithole states. Just billboards advertising. Abortion three miles. Abortion two miles. Abortion next right hand turn. Fucking yeah. <laughs> Nonsense. Hey, I didn't fuck my cousin because of the culture here. She's just hot. Okay. So as long as the liberal nationals and the United Nationals don't win, I'm happy. Uh, I can't keep track of all y'all's fucking uh, parliamentary parties and shit down there. Especially away from the city. The prices are cheaper. Yeah, exactly. Uh, um, just go do the things we all need to do. We, we know we need to do. <laughs> Pro-abortion. Abortion for all. Even those that ain't pregnant, says public. Yeah, for sure. I, I think mandatory abortions, mandatory abortions. I think, I think, um, I think anal sex and blowjobs should be mandatory. Yeah. Vaginal sex should be outlawed though. That's, 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 that's what gets us into trouble. See? And you know, like I said before, take one in the, uh, take one in the fanny, save money on a nanny, right? It should be fucking government sponsored billboards promoting anal sex. 100%. Why can't I get one? That's not fair. Where's the men's rights activist for this? Um. That's what Marsha Blackburn wants only married people have vaginal, <laughs> vaginal sex. She, yeah, she fucking dude. She, that dumb twat. I'm going to run for office here with the only the slogan, pussy control. <laughs> it is. Overpopulation is a myth. We have more than enough resources on this planet. It's, capitalists and, uh, it's capitalism and logistics that dictate that people are underserved by the system. It is. I mean, you could, you could, Wilhelm, you could fucking drop the Malthusian myth and just say isn't overpopulation a myth and you probably fucking get more people. The Malthusian's going to uh, scare a few people off, but it's neither here nor there. 
How do you respond when a conservative says abortion is affecting black people and needs to stop? I laugh in their face and say, get that fake fucking outrage uh, and that fake moral concern out of here. You fucking racist piece of shit. You don't give two shits about the black population or else you would do other things to uplift them. You just give a shit about the unborn, you lazy, ineffective, politically impotent dickwad. Fucking set faux fucking concern for black people. Get the fuck out of here. Fucking, you don't even address the bullshit. You just fucking sweep them at the knees and call it a day. Fuck you. You want to talk about the prison industrial complex? You want to talk about the disparity of arrests and convictions for black people versus white people for the exact same crimes? You want to talk about the overarching poverty and lack of opportunity, access to opportunity that is a direct result of our racist fucking policies, our redlining, the fact that the fucking first suburb in America was in upstate New York and that it was actually a developed community by a fucking classic like we see develop developer run communities the very first suburb in the u.s was a racist segregated fucking suburb that had deed lines they had lines in the deeds for the houses that specifically said black people were not allowed to own or live in these communities except as servants to the white people you fucking racist piece of shit. You want to talk about any of this stuff if you give a shit about black people? Since you all of a sudden care about black people. You fucking fake shithead. That's how you fucking deal with that. You just sweep them. No, the, the suburbs are explicitly racist, Zippy. They are explicitly, intrinsically racist. The, the creation of the suburb is 100% racist. The very first suburb was strictly racist. And the funding that made it possible, because it was a developed community, and the reason that the developer went in on this financially was because of the, uh, the, the, um, the loans, the low interest loans that were being given out to white families. So it was a capitalist opportunist, uh, it was a capitalistic opportunist uh, grab at government financing that was available. It was literally the culmination of capitalist racism. Suburbs are fundamentally racist. Uh, let me try and get you the <sighs> Levittown, Levittown, New York. And if you, if you let's, let's, let's fucking, by the way, let's do this. Okay. So Levittown, New York here, here it is. Here's the fucking, here's the first, here's the first, but fucking Levitt and Sons. Fucking, oh, oh, interesting, interesting. Yeah. Oh, wait, is there, there's, oh, interesting. There's an entire section on discriminatory practices. Sold to ITT in 1964 for $90 million, $730 million today. So the fucking racist ass founders of Levittown made $730 million and ITT went on to continue, the, uh, the com uh, company continued to build housing developments as a subsidiary under the name, usually under the name Levitt. Development in Florida started two years later. Arizona, California, Florida, Georgia, Illinois, Kentucky, Maryland, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New York, or Oregon, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Washington, as well as Puerto Rico. And they even built houses in Canada, France, and Spain. Suburbs are fundamentally racist. As we speak, and maybe I'm guilty for considering, but the USDA has loans for homes in rural area. I know it's a bit, uh, bid to bring people to rural areas, but who's most likely going to take advantage of these easy USDA loans? White people. Facts. White people. Um, they're, oh yeah, they're disproportionately white even today. Yes. Abortion bans historically coincide with, for, uh, coincide with forced sterilization, uh, sterilizations, according to my kids, this car pay. Um, all the Albuquerque cops live on the west side or in Rio Rancho burbs. Yep. 
they usually isolate themselves. Um, Trump didn't want black people in his buildings that the Nixon administration was paying for. Well, uh, and even Nixon had to sue Trump and his dad over that and one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Daddy Trump was super racist. Daddy Trump was, Fred Trump was arrested at a Klan, a Klan rally. Fred Trump was super fucking racist. Yep. A resolution. Levittown was a model for the entire movement into the suburbs layout and all. Yeah. 100%. The whole fucking thing is just this insane fucking amalgamation of the worst fucking racism and shit. Yeah, they, they included racial covenants in each deed, making each Levittown a segregated community. Um, when, when the first African American family and the first black family uh, the Myers bought a secondhand house in a Levittown development in Pennsylvania in 1957, they experienced un, an uncalculated amount of attacks on their house. Why? Because 500 white people gathered outside their house multiple times. Martin Luther King Jr. met with the fucking family and had to like engage with the legislature. They stayed there for four years until Myers, a World War II veteran, got a job elsewhere and left the community. They didn't actually fix the problem. It is suburbs are just an artifact of the most racist shit. It is astounding to get into. Yeah, they are a direct result of racist policies and practices in this country in combination with capitalistic, opportunistic land gra uh, money grabs. A transfer of wealth. Because the, the loans were all backed. Here's basically the the FHA loans, the, the, the Federal Housing Authority loans that were being given out wouldn't be given out to people who were considered high risk. And black people were considered high risk because they were more uh, more prone to poverty, despite whether they were or weren't, whether they like had a GI bill attached to them, doesn't matter. Black people were considered a high risk loan, so the FHA wouldn't back the loans, so the banks wouldn't give the loans. This is this is what created what we call colloquially redlining. So it is literal racism from on high trickled down through the economic system that re that directly leads to the, uh, the redlining practices. And even if you could escape and you could get money and you had financing, the suburbs themselves were legally segregated. They used, uh, they used covenant restrictions on the deeds to enforce racial segregation. So even if somehow you manage to get some cash in your pocket, get a little scrap going as a fucking black man in, uh, in that era, right? You still can't buy the house. You're not allowed to live there. It's in the deed that you're not allowed to live there. Oh, just fucking amazing. You heard of the tactic where a bank would uh, want to buy a white neighborhood and the tactic they used was to buy one house and move a black family in and then spread rumors about how the black family was going to bring their property values down. When they all tried to sell the same bank, bank would come in and buy the house for cheap and kick the black family out and then resell the house for much more and slip them. No, but I mean, you know, yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean, standard. It, it, it sounds like a Pinkerton tactic, fact, frankly, fact. Like, if you told me the Pinkertons were involved in that, I'd be like, yeah, that feels right. That feels right.
That's not real capitalism, though. Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Never, never mind the historical fact. Uh, never mind the historical facts surrounding mer the handoff between mercantilism and capitalism, and the necessity of the state to create all sorts of land trusts and subsidies and government-backed manufacturing and land expansionist policies that led into railroad tycoons and oil tycoons and steel tycoons and all those sorts of um, fucking monopolistic practices that directly were contributed to uh, by the state um, that helped create the foundations of capitalism, especially in the new world never mind any of that it's not real capitalism uh, <laughs> oh zealot I don't know how you don't know what the Pinkertons is but Jesus you've got a lot of fucking fucked up history to learn the Pinkertons was a uh, the, the world's largest private security force at one point in the history of this country right around Abraham Lincoln uh, right around that uh, that time period, the Pinkertons were the world's largest private security force. Think Blackwater before Blackwater was a thing, and they specialized in union busting. Up to and including assassinations, fire bombings, disruptive tactics, infiltra infiltration tactics, and they still exist today. They still exist today. They're now a subsidiary of Securitas AB, I do believe. So... Um, uh, interesting. Thank you, uh, Resolution. Yeah, that would be interesting to listen to. Uh, being against cops on an individual level and system systematic level is wrong because it's a system that's the problem, not cops as an individual. Otherwise, you ne also need to believe that criminals are bad too. I don't think this argument works because it ignores it ignores that cops know the system is broken and don't fight to change it, even profit off of those tools. What are my thoughts? Uh, my thoughts are as probably um, along the same lines. I would probably attack it as the cops are willing participants in that system, whereas the uh, the uh, the the criminals are not. The criminals have been coerced and po uh, put into a situation where poverty and lack of access to opportunity has forced their hand. This is the number one predictor um, within criminality um, is poverty. Not for the U.S., but on a global scale, poverty, uh, lack of a systemic lack of access to opportunities or systemic poverty is the easiest predictor for uh, for criminality later in life. Knowing that there is a coercive force applied upon the uh, the criminal element um, that causes a good portion, uh, a, a predominant portion of the criminality to occur, uh, resolves the individual responsibility in that in that regard. And so if I were talking about a systemic issue such as the police versus uh, po uh, uh, corrupt policing versus criminality within society, I would say the cops willingly, knowingly and continue to uh, willingly choose every single day they go to work is a conscious uh, decision that they make. They could easily switch to another field. They could easily choose another job. They could use an, uh, choose another path in life. Um, they they were not born cops. Um, the the uh, trap of poverty and the trap of systemic lack of, lack of access to opportunities is far more difficult to escape and thus requires a greater uh, touch of care and nuance when discussing it. Um, also, the police bear individual responsibility due to the fact that we even know based on DOJ reportings, um, voluntary reportings from police across the country, uh, I don't have the numbers at my fingertips, but um, something along the lines of 60 odd percent reported um, experiencing um, or reported that they would not re uh, they would not report. Uh, or that they regularly witnessed um, excessive violence or excessive enforcement uh, or the excessive abuses um, and they did not rep do anything to report it. Um, something as high as 80% on some of the numbers of abuse. So the fact of the matter is, is that cops are willing, knowing participants within a corrupt criminal system that um, did not coerce them to exist within it. The, the capitalist modality of coercion um, for uh, necessitate that necessitates uh, a, a, a style of life, a provide to be able to provide for oneself currency wise um, does not extend all the way down to forcing one to be a cop. You could be a greeter at Walmart. You could be a IT help desk guy. You could be whatever. You chose and continue to be, uh, you continue to choose an abusive uh, maintainer of the status quo of a corrupt criminal system. So the system made the choice for a criminal. The choice was not made for the cop. Some of my thoughts. 
Carpe, if you want to take a shot in the dark, I want to know where you think they heard it. It does, Zippy. Um, I, dude, I, it's, look, we use a lot of coercive methods to get the military, but at the end of the day, that's a coin flip for me. Don't sign up for the military, man. But given that they own them once they sign up, that's the clause, Zippy. It, it, the cops can leave any time. Cops can just walk out. If, if our if our military was truly volunteer and they could just walk out at any time and just quit, they'd be on the hook. But the fact that you can take a young, dumb, brainwashed kid at the age of 17 who's been pumped full of jingoistic propaganda their entire life and fear and poverty, uh, fucking st full of fear and stricken with poverty, and then you just own them, that's a whole other ballgame. Um, mythic and rhizome. I don't, I've never heard of rhizome. I know who mythic is at least. What about people that get drafted? Nobody gets drafted anymore. Um, but like, I mean, if you get drafted, then yeah, fuck that shit. I mean, if you get drafted, fucking burn it all down. Fucking conscientious objector plus, um, malicious compliance. Uh, so what the fuck what is mythic's deal i i don't know what fucking mythic's deal is like i i hear things but i don't hear things somebody send me a fucking dm somebody send me a dm with like the real deal what the fuck is the deal with mythic politics um Almost, AJ, I almost went military very young. Thank fuck I'm lazy as fuck and missed sign up with a friend. Uh, if there's ever a draft, just throw my ass in jails as cupcake. No, I'm going. I'm going. I'm just going to have some interesting times. That's all. Uh, my cousin signed up when his girlfriend got pregnant and needed health care, and I'm going to get Narcan to keep at the house because his, uh, his back jacked up and the VA doesn't do good pain management. Oh, God. Um, yeah. So, there's my opinions. <sighs> I still can't get a we're banning abortion while we're shortage of baby formula. This is the most American shit. It's the most American shit. You know, under socialism, we wouldn't be able to meet the needs of our pub uh, of our populace, right? There'd be f shortages on things like toilet paper and baby formula. Nest. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know that guy, Gary Chambers. Yeah, yeah. That's the the fucking dude who lights up a blunt on fucking for his ad. Yeah, Gary Chambers. So Has was right. We are socialist. No. <laughs> uh. Almost joined the Marines at eighteen. Thank God I play Call of Duty instead. Uh. Hinkle and Infrared got banned. Mythic said their viewers are welcome on, their, on his channel. Of course you did. All right. Interesting. Um, yeah, about them. I don't know. One is an edgelord bully aesthetic. Think his house is... Okay. So, facts. Already you're talking over my head. Think how Hassan talks to chat. I have no idea how Hassan talks to chat. I don't watch Hassan. I have... I Sincerely, I, I, I don't watch Hassan. Like, I, I have no idea how that champagne socialist talks to chat. So, that one just went right over my head. Um, but doesn't have the charisma to balance out the meanness. As for Rhizome, my issue is uh, the lib cuckness and virtue signaling vibes I get and seemingly always coming to the defense of white content creators against other minorities. It's just a weird look. I don't know. Mythic only cares about line goes up. He's a grifter. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. If, if, if Mythic is like straight up grifter, I'm good with it. I'm good with it. I, I have no problem with like pure grifters. I, I just need to know you're running a grift. 
like he who shall not be named, who literally took to went went on his air one week and said, "I really need to like I need really need to uh, increase my subscri- subscriber count." And then the next week he was in ML. Some of you know who I'm talking about. Some of you may not. If you don't, well, ask those who may know. Um, but I won't be name checking people. Um, <laughs> so, like, you know, I have no problem with a grifter. I just I just want to know what's up. I just want to know what's up. That's all. Fucking that dude. I got mad respect for that shit. Fuck it. I need I need more subs. Guess what? I'm a Marxist Leninist now. <laughs> respect, man. Dude just running game. Dude just running game. <laughs> oh. Oh, thank you. Uh, the, the, the fact that you thought that would somehow undermine my self-confidence or self-esteem or is somehow an insult of some form or fashion, that's adorable. Um, I don't give two shits. Uh, somebody, Nick Ace 288 um, Yeah, oh, I'm sure you didn't. I'm sure you didn't. There's, there's, there's not at all red flags attached to that account. <laughs> Fucking by the dozen, uh, just from the name alone. Uh, yeah, I was done with the DSA after the NPC shit. Yeah, dude, the DSA's got problems. Why does everyone in chat have whispers turned off? Facts, because we've been around the block. Mm -hmm. Sure you did. Brand new account as of two days ago with an 8-8 in your name. Sure, sure, sure. AJ. Oh. Uh, so we want to help a uh, Zippy out. Zippy's asking. Hassan is often yelling at and educating the same kind of ignorant, brainwashed, propagandized people that come in here. He's had a pretty successful de radicalization rate. Well, I'd like to see an actual number on that fire um, because I don't trust that motherfucker one bit. Because whispers are where cowards tell you off, uh, uh, tell you off yourself, and I don't have time for that kind of negativity in my life. Yeah, no, that's where that's where all the death threats go. All the death threats go right into the whispers. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> yeah, social conservatives can go fuck themselves. They are the worst people. They are. They're the worst people. Uh, I'm guessing also, uh, I'm just going to guess since, um, yeah, they're already gone. They're already gone. Fucking the, 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 the Nazi wannabe fuck fucking like they're already gone. Somebody, I fucking, somebody should d d d come back Pookie. Where'd you go? Second only to crypto conservatives. Uh, uh, yeah, fire. I don't trust champagne socialists. I don't trust people who take private jets while advocating for like, you know, uh, the, the, the return of the means of production to the masses while also spending millions of dollars on a house in an unnecessary location in which he could have routed some of that money to other worthwhile causes. I don't trust Hassan worth a fucking, I, I, I don't, I don't, I like, there's no amount. I have zero trust for him. I don't have to listen to a word. The man says every word rings hollow. Every word rings hollow. He's, he's a hypocrite writ large. So fuck that guy. So, oh yeah, never mind. I see it. Just didn't update on my side. Um, indeed, they'll go where profit is. The moment his livelihood is threatened, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. If I if I told Hassan he could keep doing what he's doing, but he cannot earn the living he is earning at this point, right? 
Hassan, you can keep advocating for what you're advocating for, but in fact, you're only going to make a normal living. Just, just, just a middle, like a lower middle class living. He'd ditch that position in a heartbeat. He'd be like, what do I need to maintain my, my income level? He'd switch like that. He's a fucking grifter. I don't trust Hassan for shit. He's a champagne socialist. He would, he'd put you on the wall. What's up, Kvass? Hey, Kvass, I had a fucking meme for you. I had a meme just for you, Kvass. I had one for Caboose today, and I had, uh, I had one for you, Kvass. I saw two different memes, and I thought Caboose and Kvass. Here you go, Kvass. 100% I thought of you I thought of you when I saw this Kvass Socialism is when Hassan lives in Porsche So there you go Kvass A little meme just for you a little surrealist meme just for you. Uh, Gord, Hassan lost me after he called Hispanic people I protested with in D.C. white and LARPers because they had a punch a Trumper in the face banner when a bunch of Trump supporters came to fight the election results. This is the same night we all got jumped by Proud Boys in D.C. on November 14th. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, song, he'll go into acting. Yeah, no, Hassan's a fucking grifter fuck and we all know it. That's... He's, I mean, he's a champagne... He's the definition of a champagne socialist. He's like literally the picture next to it in the fucking book. Oh my God. Yeah, that is good. You know, yeah, yeah, that is good. Cupcake. Good grab. Protested Amy Coney, Bar Coney Barrett's house. I'm sure Hassan would say this is going too far. Fucking shit lib. Dylan Burns would probably call this domestic terrorism. Piece of shit shit lib that he is. Do you not know what that is a reference to nonsense? Hey, Viva. Uh, Astral doesn't know either. It's a reference to the Handmaid's Tale. It's, it's the Margaret Atwood thing. Okay, so Astral just doesn't know. How can they dare commit such violence and hateful speech against a justice? I know, right? Um... I mean, do you have the list, Swede? <laughs> Amy probably just thinks her frame, friends came over. Uh, <laughs> when the Kardashians or the Jenners... Uh, the fuck had their or whatever the fuck had their uh, Handmaid's Tale themed birthday, and all their staff was wearing brood wrench outfits. It was pretty fucking massive. Seriously, I, I, dude, I didn't even see that shit. AJ, I, I have never, I have never cons consensually uh, consumed any Kardashian content. Every single thing I know about the Kardashians, I have, I have learned against my will. That's 100%. 100%. 
I, I, I've never consensually consumed Kardashian stuff. It's always been against my will. Uh, I date women, so it's always around. Well, AJ, have you considered not dating women? Just saying. Okay, so these are critical skills occupations list for Ireland, which could easier get it get you a fucking fast track. Yeah, it's a solid. Hmm. Dude, web designers are considered critical. That's a that's a brave new world. Hey, midwifery. Surveyors. Interesting. Social workers. All right. Art directors in 2D or 3D animation with at least one year's experience is considered a critical role in fucking in Ireland. All right. Ireland's fucking lost the plot. Do they want to bunch it? They do. They want to do some animation. They want to get into the fucking business sports ball interesting all right well if anybody's interested yeah our podcasters fucking consider critical I mean they're they're not that far off from doing it they're not that far off from doing it oh yay I'm essential <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Fucking A. Mm. Yeah, why not? Is he actually doing Paul? I mean, Jesus Christ. Um. Does anybody have anybody? Oh. Cuz. Yeah. I need to fucking, I need to get out of here. I need to fucking get some carbs in me and I need to get a workout in. I don't know what workout. My forearms have been killing me. I know, I saw that you've been dealing with some shit. Viva, I'm sorry. Um, guys are essential. Thank you, boss. Um, but I don't really have anybody I want to read to. Uh, by the way, Ireland is my bug out target in case of war or such. EU makes it relatively easy to get there. Uh, yeah, because Ireland, that Irish passport became super valuable, didn't it? That Irish pa passport became a thing. <laughs> yes, happy two, two year aorta anniversary to you, Swede. Um, fucking two year anniversary of Swede almost being dead. Hey, I'm just going to pick one. Yeah, I'm just going to pick one. Um, 
for those of you who didn't see the photos in, in the comments, I don't know, today, yesterday, whatever. I think it was today. Time. Time and me. Um, Swede posted a photo of him waking, having w woken up uh, from surgery after his aortic dissection. And looking rather worse for wear, I might add. <laughs> but I suppose almost dying will that do that to you. So congrats on making it, Swede. Um, what was I going to ask you? I had a question for you, actually. Oh, um... It'll come to me. It'll come to me. Later, Chachinook. Um, it was something to do with a tax policy. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll shoot you that question one of these days. Sweet. Uh, question about uh, when, uh, tax reform. I was like, I, I don't know what the ramifications of doing that economically would be. I'm like, I would need an economist to tell me how bad we were going to fuck something up. But... Either way, y'all have a good night. We're going to raid over to Squiddy. Take care of yourselves.